right? And here we are. <laughs> I probably should put the mind dynamic transition in. That might have been kind of epic. That would have been. All right. But we're Hello. here. We're live. You guys like the setup? <laughs> it's kind of fancy. We, Very fancy. We spent time putting this together. Yeah. But a lot. Got Lego in the background. Got girlfriend next to me. Got Lego bird. Lego plant. Ew. <laughs> gross. What? Uh, got Lego mug. Fancy. We love that. <laughs> Oh, sorry, wait, I needed to say, uh, hey, Brick Fools, welcome to the, the Bricks by Mine live stream. Whoa! Henry wanted me to use that as my intro. Wow, thanks, Henry. Uh, wow, well, you guys remind me of Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning, wow. <laughs> I just have my normal water, less exciting. Alright, so hi, everyone, uh, Emma's gonna be building a Legos today. Yo, I'm building Legos. Lego bird! <laughs> so, uh, I'm building Fox Dumbledore's bird. Is that what this set Fox, calls it? Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix. Oh, it's Dumbledore's Phoenix. That's what the set calls it. <laughs> um, and it's a big set. So, um, it has a almost 14 inch wingspan. So, I'm very curious about this. Matthew you, has the owl one, but I've never, I haven't seen either of them in person. Yeah, so um, that's very exciting. I got roses. I'm mostly going to be here to provide moral support to Emma and talk to chat, but I also have <laughs> this set if we get to it. I got big Avengers thing. I got this yeah. for 40% off the other day, so Woo! I bought it. Didn't you two go to school together? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. Also, Emma's got better posture than me right now, so I got to sit up straight. I'm See, fancy. Now you look short. Aw, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm trying to read the chat. Well, I think you should just get started building. Yeah. Now I'm about to sneeze. All right. Because I acknowledged it, now I'm not going to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open this bad boy up. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Yes. Okay, we're just spamming the words big bird. <laughs> yes, big bird, <laughs> large bird. I'm building some stupid Jurassic World set. I got fifty percent off. I should keep an eye out for Jurassic World when I go to Walmart. But the thing is, I have no idea what the retail prices are for those sets because I don't pay attention to that theme. That's so, a thick book. Yeah, That's I told thick. you it's pretty big. And you're like, I oh, won't be done in an hour. I'm like, I don't know about that. Maybe. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna hear her a little bit. It's yeah. 600 pieces, that's pretty- Wow, back one is literally just building Dumbledore and his little- And the stand for the yeah. big bird. Alright, it's fun. Yo, guys, how do I build Dumbledore? James G, I film in a very small room for Woo Crew and whatnot. Um, I live in a house with three other people, and that's the only room where I have true privacy. I had to make sure every- like, this- this is cool. I would love to film like this all the time, yeah, this but- is nice. This is not a convenient location in my house to film on a regular basis. This works no. for today, but, um, I may- I'm going off to college, going back to college in- <laughs> Going back. In August, and mm -hmm. if the audio quality is fine there, I may start filming in that room, and I hopefully will make my background a little nicer there. But I agree, my Woo Crew podcast background isn't the best, but that's just where I have to film. You may notice my light box next to me—that's where I film all my videos. I turn yes. to the table where I film my pod, where we film the podcast. That's where I do all my editing, and then I turn to the side, and that's where I do all my filming. And those are the two places I go because my room is tiny. I don't live in the world's biggest house or have the world's biggest room. <laughs> um. But I make do. Yes, small bird. Yes, small, small bird. bird. Small bird for the big bird. Okay. I'm trying to find. There's Dumbledore's pants. Oh, Emma, we had some big news today. Big Lego news. I want to get your thoughts on it. Okay, yeah. Um, Lego video was canceled. <laughs> really? Yep. Isn't that the one that nobody buys? Uh huh, it was the llama from the live stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it came out to them. It, it came out in March and it's already canceled. Oh my god. I know that uh, allegedly. We don't this is have, Haven't but. isn't that one that you haven't even bought one of like That's the one where I have some of the mystery minifigure packs, but um the full size sets are twenty dollars for one minifigure in a box, and I'm not paying that. Yeah, that's a bit expensive. Like even though Lego is my job and I literally would make money from buying one of those and doing it it's literally not even worth like getting it for my job because it's just so not worth it like yeah that's 
that's not i feel like you would barely make it back um wait no i would not shoot? i would not make that money back if i bought a video set because <laughs> like to get twenty dollars that has to be a couple thousand views and also nobody cares about videos so nobody's watching video videos Video videos. Video videos. Like, I know Ash and Flash got the video sets early, and he literally, like, didn't... He, it took him, like, a month to make uh, make a review of one of them because all of his early reviews were not getting any views because That's nobody really cared. That's funny. It's just sad, like... It's a cool concept of, like, hey, you get these little, like, boxes of stuff, but also $20 for it. Well, like, I would so much rather buy, like, a big set for... Like, the, the budgies that I built, they were 15... Right, 15... 15? Yeah, I believe those are 15. 15, those and I got the... two whole budgies out of them. It was great. <laughs> um, By the way, this MSF was sent by the Lego Ambassador Network. Thanks, guys. Yay! Um, I guess I need to disclose that. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Um, but no, video has good, really good minifigures, but terrible prices. Uh, so yeah. the whole thing with video is there's an app with it that if you, like, put your phone in front of the box, it'll, like... You can make your character dance to popular music by Universal Music Group because it's a partnership with that, them. Oh, funny. The video theme is. But, like... I don't think that's worth $20. No, it's so. not. <laughs> like, it would be cool if it was, like, oh, like, you could buy the app with it and the app's, like, can you, like a dollar or two. Yeah. Um, You know, like, one of the 99-cent apps, you get, like, five songs and then you can, like, unlock more. Um, Like... You know, that's more of a bit of a pay one. I'm sure that people will complain about it if it was that way, but I would rather it be like a, a even if it was like a 10 or 15, like even that would be better. Like $20 just seems like a lot. Yeah. Well, I just know Ninjago spinners back in the day were $10 and they were a lot more significant. Yeah. So, uh, and to conclude, ripped Lego video. Um, <laughs> yeah. Matthew and I will talk about it on this week's podcast, but you got the Emma thoughts here. Yes. Um, Emma thoughts. I I probably I've been keeping an eye on the Walmart prices for the beatboxes. My local Walmart's have them for fifteen right now, but even that is too much. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to drop to like ten or below to get any of them. Um, I'm sure they will because no one's oh, gonna want it. The mystery figures are three fifty at my at our uh, Walmart right now, and I'm yeah. kind of tempted to get some I'm of those. I'm gonna put Dumbledore right. Wait, I'm gonna have him. Well, you're gonna about to put a stand for him, oh, so yeah. I would wait till oh, you yeah, can do yeah, that because yeah. he might stand up a little easier then. That would be funny. Dumbledore. Okay, we got Dumbledore. Oh, and he gets a wand. That's nice. He gets his little. I for I forgot that the uh, Harry Potter wands looked like this now because the yeah, last they, time they were just sticks. They used to be. Yeah, that's very nice. I like that. Yep, and they got different colors too for the different characters. Yeah, um, I decided to sort my pieces by color because there were a lot. So you did that pretty quickly. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I I sort my pieces by color when I take them out because that's just how I did it years ago. Um. Because they didn't used to come in pack one, two, three. It was literally just a whole pack, and then it told you how to build it. Yep. Um, so I was like, ew, I'm going to sort ages. it by color. Because um, that's easier. But you see that the firehouse I have over there, Emma? Yeah. That was back before they numbered their bags. Oh, and, and that's a massive and set. And guess what? I don't sort my pieces, and I didn't back then. <laughs> That was a nightmare to build. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I, I keep forgetting that chat's over here, because I'm used to, like, seeing it right by me. So, I'm, I'm picking up... Brick was by my girlfriend, yeah. <laughs> Emma color-coded her pieces, yeah. Yeah, I did. I color-coded them. Um, okay, so now I need... This. There we go. And yet still, I can't find the pieces. I'm Mind and Emma, have you watched Big Chungus Ballin' Movie 2? <laughs> Space Jam New Legacy. We have not yet. That should be something we should watch. I've seen a few clips of it. I know Rick and Morty are in it. Spoilers yeah. for S Space Jam 2. <laughs> um. That that looks like an interesting movie. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. It's that, it just, Warner Bros. keeps trying to do the crossover thing, but they'll never do it better than the Lego movie or Lego Batman movie, so I don't know why they keep trying. <laughs> Even though the, those movies are both made by Warner Bros., so why are you trying to do it again? Because Ready Player One was that, and now, um... I, I like the, the book Ready Player One was, um, was really good. Yeah. Um, I think the, I think the movie was still pretty good. Um, it's been a while, so I don't know, like, all the details between, like, the differences, but I, I enjoyed that. I haven't that. read it or seen it, I just know. You might like it, if, if you ever, like, want to I am a bit a of a gamer, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. That's long piece. Oh, yummy. We love that. Okay. 
So now I'm on, well, besides me using pack one to build Dumbledore. Now I'm Dumbledore. actually, Dumbledore. His name is Dumbledore, Emma, please get it correct. I'm actually building now. So I will share each stage. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I, it's been a while since I built a set this big. Because the I last know. one, I built the original, um... I built the original Hagrid's hut. You gotta be more specifically say original. There's been many iterations of that. Oh, so, okay. so it's probably the 2012. 2012 version. Hagrid's or, hut. Or 20. It was like 2010, I think, actually. Yeah. Um, I built that. I built SpongeBob's. Well, Ryan, uh, my brother also had uh, Lego sets, so he got SpongeBob's house. And I think something else, maybe like the Ferris wheel or something like the uh, I carnival. I was one SpongeBob's house. I remember the carnival. It I was big. It was a it was a big set. It's it not as big as you remember. That set was like thirty bucks. That's what's smaller than this one. Oh yeah, probably. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a else. few sets I remember when I was a kid that I thought were so big, and then I went back and looked at them when I was older, and I was like, wait, that's tiny. <laughs> I just know that it took up a lot of space on top of our entertainment center where we had like a little. Um, we had a little, uh, like, shelf thing on the top that we used. All right, so what is what is this piece? Is it that? Yes. Seen a lot of pieces you've never seen before? Uh, no, I've seen most of them, but I am just slow at building Lego. <laughs> and that's why we're dating, because I'm dating someone who's slower at building Lego than I am. <laughs> is that no? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Precisely. Oh, okay, yeah understandable watch me build it fast though that would be really funny um okay i right, guys i have not been keeping up on the chat during that entire conversation so if you guys oh, ask yummy. a question i did not see it so if you guys want to ask again feel free um long piece this is unnecessarily complicated for just the stand <laughs> This is Le Lego's become less of a building toy, and it's become more of just like a mo less of like a building toy in the fact that it's like, hey, build whatever you want. More like here's an elaborate model with all these very specific parts. Yeah, like why do we need? I all like of it. This it's kind of funny. How's the? Oh wow, the Lego rose looks really cool. I know. That's actually the, the Lego flowers are honestly really cool set because I love how they did the detail. Like they they look kind of abstract, but realistic like if that makes any sense at all yeah um but i don't know they have a really cool look to them and and i like that oh my god mine is that flower from matthew maybe <laughs> he got these too we both got these yeah technically, yeah, you guys I did, both. technically i got this set for him technically 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 because yes. for those who don't know this set was a a gift with when I attended RLFM days, which actually I just uploaded a video about RLFM days, which you guys go check out my channel because Woo! I worked really hard on that video and it got like no views and then somebody cross posted all the information to Instagram and their post got more likes than my video. Oh, that's so rude. I know. Wow. Yes, go support my amazing boyfriend on his channel. He's amazing. He's epic. As, as if you're not live streaming to yeah. your channel right now. Yeah. I'm just here to support you. Um uh brown three wait is that a okay that's it for the record i don't hold anything against the guy it's public information now i'm just a little salty myself that i worked hard in a video and i didn't get as much traction as somebody who just posted my information but it's not his People... fault for posting the information it's public info he shares lego news but yeah it is that is a it's just annoying to me that the algorithm is gonna treat me that way when yeah it is a little bit frustrating that you know um you work hard on something and it, and honestly a lot of it like even on um like on a lot of social media platforms like most of it is just like they'll repost something without giving proper credit well yeah um, he did he did say from brooks by mine which i appreciate but it's just like good, if least. people already get the info from instagram they're less likely to come watch my videos so yeah you fancy uh are you guys gonna visit the new york city lego store anytime um i was just why well, was that the I was at the the one that was there right before the new one opened, like yeah. a week before it opened. But I think before the summer ends, I would like to go with you because that would be fun. I think I did this wrong. Yes, hold on. <laughs> I accidentally put this on. Is that uh, printed the tile? Yeah. Wow. It's surprisingly Fancy. good. Oh no, I they're base plates together. Uh, did that set come with a brick separator? 
I hope so. No, I'll go get one. No, it doesn't. I'll go get one for you. Considering that there's... They only do it in sets that are like $50 or more, I think. That's ridiculous. It's not but... ridiculous, trust me. If they put it in every set... It would uh, be true, fun. yeah. I guess if it's like if it's your like first time getting Lego, that's a bit annoying. Um, you can buy them for 250 if you want. But... <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna catch up on the chat. Alright, I'm getting the accordion out. Mine looks like a 2011 Disney Channel star. <laughs> what does that mean? What? You look like a 2011 Disney Channel star. True. I don't know what that means. <laughs> guys, I got the accordion out. Yo. You guys want to hear some tunes on the accordion? All right, pick pick a brick separator. Um, I'll pick the one on the top. Okay. You like the one singular green one down here? Yeah, I like that one. That only came in one set ever. Oh. Okay, got to go put this away. <laughs> There we go. Yay, we did it. I'm going to put this down here now. How does this... I got to come back. This is way too complicated. No, it's not. I'm just not. <laughs> you were all confident. Hold on. That this is going to be easy and quick. Listen. And I told you, this is a complex Listen. set. Listen. I said, Hold this on. is going to be complex. And you were like, nah, good. it's gonna be I was, good. I was doing good. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. I did do it right, but I just missed I just missed a step where you use the exact same parts again. Which to be fair, um, I thought that it was the same step again. So actually, I did do it correctly. I just missed the step where we use the exact same plate again. <laughs> so I just thought it was the same. There we go. Now it's proper. Yay! Henry, do you it. have the uh, the Lego art brick separator and the Lego dots one? Because I think that the art one's the only one I don't have. Oh no, I dropped a piece. Haha. <laughs> no. No. Oh wait, this is the long boy. Alright, I'm going on the floor. Oh, okay, floor time! Where did it go? It's uh -huh. the Bricks by Emma channel, yes. I've taken over. How many brick separators have you got there? I'm very curious. Uh, too many. Too. And that's not even all of them. I still have some upstairs. I got yeah. like a good, like, ten upstairs. Oh, wait, so this is just the bottom. So now we're doing a new thing. Um. I have the other one from Bricks Piece and I have the dots one from the Panda Cube. Yo, based Panda Cube moment? That's where I have it from, <laughs> yes. too. Yes! I was very proud of that video, too. If you guys haven't... I've been that making a lot of good. videos I very much enjoyed making, and it's not just been, like, random reviews, so... You're so cute. I would appreciate it if people could check them out, because I'm very proud of how they've turned out. I helped I helped you record that one. I, I held the camera while he uh, while he was in the airport and uh, saying, yep, it survived. It did stuff. And it had this stuff. And it's my vague. And yes, Dots has its own brick separator. It's a tile separator, which is actually That's really nice. useful. You should get that. I have one. Oh, you do? The one I don't have is the art one. The oh, giant murals. Okay, yes, yes. They have like a brick separator, but it does four studs at once instead of two. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, Mind you guys, stop making Among Us jokes. The feds are starting to catch on. Oh my god. When the imposter is. Sus. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, boom. So glad that we're making quality <sighs> content right now. Yo, I'd like to chat. apologize <laughs> to everyone in the chat right now. Wait, it's really funny that the very first interaction that everyone got to see me was when we did the uh, when we did the Q and A with the girlfriend, and that was the that imposter sus music was in there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch my bag tag video? I used it there, too. Yeah, I saw that. And then I used it with the stock... Oh, right, because you watched the stock footage of the plane. Yeah, I really like that. I used that music there, too. The yeah, I full saw that. Among Us I thought that, that was nice. That was high quality. Now that's stuck in my head. No. <laughs> Stop. How many, how many viewers we got right now? Mind, are you a sussy baka? No, but Emma is. <laughs> What? We got 64 viewers. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yay! Okay. We cool. We create quality. Oh no, I dropped a piece. Oh god, it's gone now. Goodbye. I'll get that. Um, 23. I have to get that. I don't know where it dropped, though. Can you make me get on the floor? I see it. it wait, where was it, it just a circular tile? 
No, it was it was a uh, it was this. Oh, it was one of these. I boys. don't see it then. I see a circular tile on the floor. Oh, I see it. Hold on, I can get it with my foot. Okay. Yo, foot moment. I just kicked it over. Oh no. It's back! Yay! Look, I made a giant slide. <laughs> it's ten out of ten. Why do I go by the name Mind? I guess I haven't told that story in a hot minute. I told it a while ago on the channel, but bricks. But uh, my name back on Lego Universe back in the day. No, so my name for everything used to be Mindstorms52 52. because I liked Lego Mindstorms and 52 was my favorite number. And then um, and then I made a Lego Universe account and Mindstorms52 was taken, so then I became Mindstorm5712 because that's what they recommended to me. And then I shortened it to Mind when I created my Minecraft channel because I didn't want to have the name Mindstorms in it because I, uh, I was like, I do Minecraft now, not Lego. Lego's for babies. Um, but then I came back to Lego, but I was still using the name Mine, so it was like a full circle thing. <laughs> so it started from Lego and ended up at Lego, but this, the Storms has been removed from the name for a long time. I could probably recite that, because I've heard that so many times, yeah, that story. I've, to I've told it quite a few times. Yeah. Um, okay, we have a cool, funny thing. Then we have these. How is my Amazon account uh, mind? I hope you're taking good care of it, John Audible. Oh, John, it's doing <laughs> great. Um, actually, for some reason, so I used a privacy.com card to register for it because I didn't want Amazon to accidentally charge me, and I canceled in time, but now I get an email from privacy probably like once a week going, Amazon tried to charge $15 to your card. It was declined. I was like, good. I don't That's want them funny. charging $15 to my card. I mean, to John Audible's car, not mine. To John, John Audible is a real man. Yeah, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. He's having a good time. Rich boy mind talking about his mind storms. I had, uh, I asked for mind storms for years from my parents, and then I remember it was 2008 I got it because that was the year of the housing crash in the U.S., and the economy was rough, and my parents were like, <laughs> I remember my parents telling me that don't expect much for Christmas this year because the economy is not that good. Um, but then I ended up getting Mindstorms anyway, so I guess the economy wasn't that bad. Or <laughs> we made it work or something. That's funny. Right, but I'm pretty sure it was, like, that year for Christmas, I know I got Mindstorms, I got the X-Wing from that year. And That's I think cool. that was pretty much it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Just found out there's some really obscure brick separators that, that I don't have. I'm leaving the Lego community. <laughs> Isn't there, like, the original one? Isn't that... Doesn't that come in gray, I believe? I don't have that one. Fine. Emma has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I think I have orange brick separators. Yeah, orange was the original... Well, is the original modern one. There was the old, old one before they had, like, the little Technic pin on the top, and those yeah. were just green. Oh, really? So that's why the one green one I have is actually a modern style one that's referencing the original style one. Fun. Yep. Um, okay, now I need two. Okay, once I, like, get through bag one, I'll slow down a little bit. Um, so that way I can actually talk more because I'm <laughs> No, kinda, you build. I'm in, you I'm build. in, like, concentration mode. People are here, here to watch you build. Yeah, but I also like, I also like talking to the chat. Well, I'm talking to the chat and I will read to you. Okay. Does Emma ever call you mine for fun? No, that'd be kind of creepy. No, I, I originally when I when I first started interacting on his on his channel because I, I used I ended up like revealing myself like you like I people knew that I was your girlfriend like in your live streams, and that was the first that people interacted with me before you even said like, you know like hey we're gonna do a video we're gonna do like you know our own channel and stuff, um, so, like I. I think at first I was like, should I call you Mind? Like, because that's your online presence. And you were like, no. No, that'd no, be please, weird. No, please just call me, when, like, normal. When we met up with Matt, he called me Mind. And I was like, well, oh, yeah, you call me Mind, don't you? It was yeah. weird hearing it in person and not online. It's very strange. And I'm at this point, I'm, I've, I've gotten out of calling him Elite. But I used to call him, I think I still have him in my phone saved as, like, Elite in parentheses Matthew. Because, uh, obviously that was how I first knew him, was when he still went by that. Um. My lady. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Uh -huh. Wait, that's so cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These are really neat. Yeah. Yo. Look, they got tulips as well, alright? That's what that's plant really that is. That's really cool. Yeah. 
These are actually kind of neat, though. Are you smelling yeah, them? Yeah, I'm smelling the flowers. Oh, okay. Very cute. Take a sip I'll, put my them, I'll put them here, so that way they're on display. I'm trying to see what, what the camera looks good. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. I'm almost done building this very complicated stand for the burb. Burb moment. Are you almost done? You seem like you have a lot of pieces left. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm doing my best. Mine, doing... do the Waluigi pose. I don't know what the Waluigi pose is. <laughs> That's the Waluigi sound, not the pose. Yes, <laughs> that is the sound, not the pose. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm doing a good job. Alright, chat. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna run a poll, okay? Ooh, you're gonna run a poll. What's the poll? Which Lego set should I build on? Ooh. Ooh here. We fancy. Alright. Lego moment. <sighs> Alright, so we got two sets. I got the Avengers Iron Man Armory Iron Man. I just got that one on sale recently. I'm pretty yeah. excited about those minifigures. And then I got Monkey Kid Pig Food Truck. Pigsy's Food Truck. Monkey. And the question is, which of these two should I build? So I'm going to run a poll in the chat. Poll time! Because I can do that now. And it's fun. I forgot that you could do that. Alright. Which set should mind build? Um, Pigsy's Food Truck truck mm -hmm. Iron Man Hall of Armor or cool collaborations <laughs> everyone's gonna vote for that yeah. and then there's gonna be no votes for uh, other stuff <laughs> Uh, thank you to who's, Bingus. Bingus suggested Bingus. that in the chat. Hi, Bingus. It's Bingus time. Okay. All right, Iron Man Hall of Armors. When actually, Cool Collaborations only has five percent. Only oh, one wow. person voted for Cool Collaborations. <laughs> What's Cool Collaborations? We're just memeing about Lego Con because they had that one poll where they're like, "What did you enjoy most? Was it interviews with designers? Cool Collaborations." <laughs> I don't remember the other options, but Cool Collaborations is uh, kind of an epic moment. Goes here? I guess so. Oh, it's tight. It's Ooh. tight. I guess I probably oh, shouldn't wow. have added Cool Collaborations, because uh -oh. Emma is uh -oh. based in Bingus Pilled. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Alright, Pigs the Food Truck's slightly pulling ahead, but what if I actually don't care about the poll and I just want to build the Iron Man Hall of Armor? Then what's the point of the poll? Engagement with the community. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, now I have to make a second one. Wow. Oh, but it's different. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Holding. I'm going to do an actual poll now. Okay. Oh, no, I just accidentally did a poll where the only options are yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Nine votes. All right. What? What should mind actually build? And this time, cool collaborations is not going to be enough. All right. Iron Man Hall of Armor. Pigsy's food truck. All right. Actually, I can't I find know. a piece. Like it's just not here. It needs another one of uh one of these. Yeah. And it's... You mean this piece right here? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm 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 really good at Lego guys. <laughs> I'm really good at Lego, I promise. I'm I'm so good at Lego um that I am I'm so much Better than Sean at Lego, that I'm the Lego master. Guys, vote for the Hall of Armor. I want to build that one. Wait, what the freak? Hello? What? 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 Huh? Okay. 
Sorry, I'm slightly confused by how this is You're working. experiencing Technic for the first time? I don't like this. That's Technic, baby. Wait till you build the... You know the bird can actually flap its wings, right? Like, there's a crank where it flaps its wings. Did you know that? No. Yeah, that's why I said this thing's elaborate. It's not just put together a square budgie. <sighs> Bro, this poll's, this poll's close. Everybody vote. Vote, 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 vote. Everybody vote. 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 I want to see. Just takes a few more votes for Iron Man Hall of Armor to win. Come on, guys. You can do it. I will do whatever you guys say, but I really want to do the Hall of Armor because I just built a Monkey Kid set the other day, and I don't really want to build another one right now. Okay, I'm doing a good job. I wonder if this is the crank. No, it's not. It's just like a perch. Uh, the crank, I think, is going to be a part of this. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yay, Lego. Guys, there's only 49 votes. I know we have more viewers than that. Come on, guys. We have 74 viewers. Come on. The rest of you need to vote. Vote, 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 vote. It's so close. Come on. Come on, guys. Make ac make extra accounts and vote. <laughs> oh, it's 50-50 now. It's 50-50 now. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm very confused. Yo. I'm going to do a little Wait, dance. Wait, oh, I the... did it on the other side. Wait, you're doing a little dance? And with the roses. Yes! Oh wait, we have to do another Twitch st stream and what? I have what to do is... the Renegade. I have to do yeah. the Renegade, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't when, it, when was that? Huh? When we get 150 or 100? 100, we've reached it. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Yo, mine does the renegade. Guys, we have 11 viewers who have not voted. You guys need to vote right now. <laughs> right now. Do it. Right, I'm going to set a oh, I guess... three-minute timer. I will go with whatever set is winning in three minutes, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what is happening? Oops. Lego's gotten complex, girlfriend. Yeah, it has. It's been a while. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> What? See, like, don't take the book from me. I need that. <laughs> I just wanted to. You weren't supposed to push this all the way in yet. Oops. So what? You, what these pieces are is you put it in right here, this lip right here, and then you're gonna put something inside there, and then you're gonna push it all the way in, and this will hold that in place. Wow. I know. That's so fancy. Oh, Iron Man Hall of Armor is pulling ahead. Let's go. I could end the pull right now and be like, yeah, it won. It won, guys. Let's go. How many more people do we need to vote? Uh, I, don't know. I said I told him three minutes. I'm gonna keep my word, even though my the one I want's winning now. So I could just end it here and be like, okay, it, it won. But I'm gonna give people. Th we have two minutes, fifteen seconds left to vote. Yay! Here, can I uh, can I put this on? Can you guys see that? Mm. Have you ever see that? Can you pull up the? Yeah, video? they can. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> wow, this is a high quality stream. This is. Wait. Oh, Iron Man Hall of Armor is pulling ahead. Let's go. Wow. 72 view votes of the 74 viewers. <laughs> Polls are so fun. So whatever is first, is it whoever? What, if we get every single view, uh, every single vote? No, no, I'm um, just going to go for it because some of these votes might be from people who left the stream or whatever. Oh, Pixie's food truck's coming back up, Oh, though. my God, I dropped it. Hello. That's right here. Here, I'll grab it with my foot. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Got it. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Oh, it's close. It's a close one, fellas. This I made is... another accountant voted. <laughs> Thanks, LAP Productions. What? Um, is there anything you could tell me to help out with my YouTube channel? Find your niche. Try to find something that you do that nobody else does. Find creative and unique uh videos to make. Dude, it's fifty fifty now. No. Mm. Oh, I guess this is for the crank. Maybe. No, Pixie's food trap is pulling ahead at the end. No, guys, guys, got fifty-one seconds. Come on, vote for the Hall of Armor, please, please, please. This is so complicated. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna. I love seeing my girlfriend use tactic for the first time. It's funny, but I'm also dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fifty-fifty again. <gasps> guys, it's so close. Oh. It's so close. Okay. I'm doing it. Okay. No, Piggy's food truck pulled ahead again. No, come on, guys. Come on. Do you want me to vote? Yeah. I can. I can go vote. You have twenty seconds. Okay. Go vote right now. Hold on. Right now. Hold go on. to the stream. Vote. I'm vote. Going. I'm a vote. I'm going. Vote. I'm vote. Going. <laughs> can I vote? I can't vote. How do I vote? 
Go to go to the stream. Go into the chat. Click the, click okay, the okay, okay. Iron Man Hall of Armor. Four, no, three, no, two. I'm not gonna get it in one. time. No! I didn't get it in time. No! No! Man. no. Wait, no! Iron Man Hall of Armor one. Oh! End pull. End pull. End pull. End pull. End pull. End. End pull. End pull. <laughs> Show me the results. Show me the results. Iron Man Hall of Armor won, wow. except it only totals up to 99%, but it won! That's funny. Let's go. This is... what? Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that watching That was fun. You. Wait, what? You need, you need help? <laughs> Oh wait, I know where it goes. Yeah, just like that. Yay! Are you is it oriented the right way? Yes it is. Okay, I think good. so. We're yep. gonna, we're and gonna now now out. you push this all the way through. Okay. And then I have this which goes on the other side. Yep. Wow. See, isn't Lego complex? Yeah, this is really complex. <laughs> Yay! I did it. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Guys, if if uh if I finish this on stream I'll start the pig truck too. Pig truck. The figures in the set look kind of baller, not gonna lie. Like, I've never been one to collect the Iron Man suits because I haven't really cared, but, like, the black and gold one looks awesome. And so does, like, the original one. What? What? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, okay. But that, yeah. Alright, so. Oh, hold on, I'm just a little bit. Yeah, this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, d right I realize here. now. Yep. I had there a little go. had a little moment there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't like lining up pieces. The brick gamer says, "Hello, mine girlfriend." <laughs> Hello. I am here, and I'm vibing. Oh, guys, look! It's a full bag for the terrible blue Iron Man suit. Yo. Look at this thing. Who thought that was okay, Emma? That looks like something that I would custom build if I was like 12 and just had like the spare parts of Lego, <laughs> like from Pick a Brick and stuff. You've heard her, um, guys. Oh my god, I used to get so much Pick a Brick. Every single time we went to the Lego store, I, Ryan and I would get a, an entire cup. So I've only I done have, Pick a Brick. Like, an entire box just full of Pick a Brick. I've done Pick a Brick once in my life and I've never opened it. It's still sitting sealed right over there. So on top of those base plates or whatever? Yeah. That's the one Can time I- Can I ask why? Oh, I did it! It was the first time I met Matthew, actually. And he was getting it. I was like, oh, I'll get it too. He says the good parts, so I'll get it. But then, I don't build custom builds, so yeah. I never opened it, and it's still sealed to this day. That's really You guys want to see my pick a brick cup? I'll go get it. Yeah, go get the pick a brick cup. Show the viewers. Show the viewers. I'm going to- I've infiltrated the stream again. Hello. Mine girlfriend is Poggers! Yes! Oh, that's the camera. It Please don't walk the camera. into the camera. That would be bad. Um, Emma's Emma's emotes are pog. Thank you. I worked very hard on drawing yes. them. Yes. So for ever, it's for anyone who do doesn't know, you see all those emotes that the uh, the members are using. All those hand drawn ones were drawn by her. Yeah. I, the ones of my face are uh, are not drawn by her. Those but are the the crying Nia, the peeled Belobo, the winking Kai, the pyro Whipper, She drew all of them. She is talented. Yeah. Thank you. Oh wow, tons of fire pieces in here. Those would actually be useful. Yeah. Um, for your yeah. for your um your nether. Well, no, not for not just for like photography and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I try to keep the nether a little blocky because mm. it's Minecraft. That's smart. But yeah. Look, this is first time Matthew oh. and I met up back in 2016. I bought this and I have never opened it. Yeah. And That's uh, it's a while taped ago. together because like it, the pieces are big. Um. But I I am planning to start building mocks in the near future and mm -hmm. I will tap into these parts when I need to. This is very cool. Yo, door pieces. This is what I I would always used to do doors. The, With like, the hinges. hinges. Um because I would make um I would make mazes for my hamsters. No way, it's Tony Stank. I do not Personally, I don't really recommend getting hamsters because um, they die in the weirdest ways. I'm going to put a slight content warning. My hamsters ate each other, and that's how they died. Like, consumed. 
So, yeah, and I also had one that screamed like a human and uh, bit everyone it saw despite me trying to train it not to. So, yeah, I I'm kind of scarred by hamsters. Those are now why I have six birds um, that I love. Um, even though birds bite if you don't train them properly, but, like, I love them. They're my little chaos machines. Mine, ho hold the rose in your mouth and look at the camera. That's really great. Although you're it's not a little even, too heavy. You're not even like because normally you like bite the rose. I don't want to bite my Lego. I'm not yeah. five. Yeah, I'm not gonna bite my Lego. <laughs> wow. <gasps> very <sighs> fancy. Very fancy. I want to see what the uh, chat says to that. <laughs> not very based hamsters. Yeah, hamsters are kind of cringe. Emma, did you ever have any Zuzu pets? Yes, I had so many of them. I had like six of them. I wonder if there, uh, if there's any left still. God, it's been years since I've gotten an MCU-based Marvel set. Yeah. Besides, like the the Thor house, like this is. I forgot the Iron Man helmets came in their own little baggie because I literally don't think I've gotten an Iron Man helmet since Civil War. Like it's been a oh, wow. long time. Oh wow, that has been a while then. Missy. Emma, did Mind you? Oh, mentioned. yeah. You read that. Burbs Pog. Oh. Yo, it's Don no, Luigi. Tony Stank's head. I dropped it. Tony Stank's head. Project Lego Return to Hamster. Yo, Emma, you should start a hamster channel. <laughs> no. I'll, I used to have a bird Instagram, and I think a couple of you follow it, but I haven't posted in like two years because. I've been so busy, and I'm actually taking a personal break from my art Instagram because I'm currently working on commissions, which I cannot post until certain times. Like, I have a couple commissions that, um, they're Christmas presents that, uh, the people ordered, so just in case, like, the person they're giving it to happens to see my account, I can't post some of them until Christmas, so I don't have a lot of content to post, so I'm taking a slight break, but... It I'll hopefully be posting soon again, because I need to post, and I like posting, so, um, that was, like, a mini tangent I just <laughs> went on, but I'm vibing. Um, um, long. This is my first time getting an Outrider figure. I have not gotten any of the endgame sets. Oh, really? Yeah, he's kind of funny. They came, they were the villain that was in every single set, and they were, like, barely in the movie. Or they were in the movie, but they all they wore was a horde that, like, a faceless horde that, like, you didn't really see up close. Oh, really? So, kind of pointless, but... What? What? We have to insert them into here? That's really hard. I don't think you're supposed to put both hinges on. I think you're supposed to put one hinge. So. Oh, oh, oops. Yeah, yep. I was. Yep. Put one I'm hinge on, slide so on, smart. and then attach the other hinge on the I'm other so side. I'm so smart. I'm so... No, it's okay. You're doing good. I'm, I'm proud of you. I am master of Lego. <laughs> you haven't even started the bird. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, now I do the... Okay, now I do the other side. Yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yep. Yes, Lego building moment. See, isn't this isn't it like an art form building it's the Lego? It's fun, but yeah, it's definitely it is a little more complicated because I didn't really build and I never built anything that like moved. Um, so I pretty much just built like you know Hagrid's hut and like the Batman Catwoman uh motorcycle and like stuff like that. So not really advanced things like this. Or, I think the Ferris wheel at, like, Spongebob's Carnival, like, could spin, but that wasn't, like, really advanced. Oh, I really like the, um, sound effects that they put in for the, hold on, I'll show, I'll show the, uh, camera in a second after I finish this piece. Uh, Fireblast170, repost it because I would like to see that, um, and I will probably be making an episode this week. I know it's been a while, um, but I, I think I'm, I think it'll probably be back like within the next week i'm sorry i'm i'm reading a hamster story can you scroll up because i need to like hold on i need to process it i used to have two hamsters then my dog ate one and the other one died shortly after from biting an electric cord oh my god oh my god <laughs> that's really great uh mine you should try to collect all the cmf ninjaga movie figs i already have them all Rose I... mind emote, please make it happen. <laughs> yes. Um, the CMF Ninjaga movie emotes was when I was on vacation in Florida, like in 2017, and we went to Legoland. And that day in Legoland, I bought every single one. It was kind of fun throughout <laughs> the park during the day because they would have it at like multiple different locations. Oh no, was that our? That might have been Legoland, California. Yeah, that was Legoland, California. 
Um, but throughout our day in the park, we went to different uh, like places that were selling them, and we bought every single minifigure. Cute. Ooh, got a donation. Thank you. Um, not reading your name. I'm not reading that, but <laughs> I appreciate the donation. Uh, Ninjago Dragon vehicles or location build? Location build, one hundred percent. They they're the they're best at doing dragons. Their dragons are their best sets, but I get tired of dragons. But that's a th it's a I double edged like sword because <gasps> Bongus. We like the um parody of Bingus there. Is that a parody of Bingus? I don't know. I just said a word. Um. Drag like I get tired of Ninjago dragons, but they just do them so well that I can't hate them because like all my favorite Ninjago sets this year are dragons because they're just done so well. But I'm like I wish I didn't like dragons so much because we've gotten so many and I don't want any more. But like the jungle dragons, my favorite set of this year, and it's so good. I like I like this. Click click click. Click click click. It's to let you know it has click, to click, click into click. place. I don't even know if they can see that. They probably could. Yeah. Okay. More things to build. No, I'll just refer to the donator as Max. Thank you, Max, Thank for you, the Max. donation. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I hate the fire dragon not based. That's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. <laughs> Wait, where does this go? I love your videos so much. I love Ninjago. How did you get into Ninjago? Uh, it was ten years ago. I was nine years old, and I wanted to have a Lego-themed birthday party. This is another story I've told before, but mm -hmm. it's been a while, so I'll tell it again. Um... Yeah, I was nine years old, and I wanted to have a Lego-themed birthday party, so my mom and I were on Lego.com, and I had the idea of, oh, I wanted to give Lego-themed party favors to all the guests. Um, so we were scrolling through Lego.com, trying to find something that was, like, cheap so we could get it for all the guests, but also, like, something fun for us to do, and originally we were gonna get CMF, and everybody was gonna get a random CMF, and we would, like, just have parts to build with, and we would have our CMF that we could use as our minifigure, but then we discovered... There was a new theme coming out called Lego Ninjago, and they had these spinners that you could play with together. So, and there were pre-orders available, which for some reason, even though Lego like never does pre-orders anymore. Yeah. Um, but there was pre-orders available for that theme, so we pre-ordered five spinners. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> Miles became a member. <laughs> What's up, Miles? Hi, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, someone named Miles, and then I read the last name. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> We know him. We know him. Wait a minute. Um, thank you for becoming a member, though, Miles. I appreciate it. <laughs> now, Miles, I think Lucas is still a member too. Yeah, I think so. Um, you get to be in my description. I wonder if he now. still knows that he's a member. I'm not sure. Cause that's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm almost done. Yo, we got Windrunner Matt in the chat. Yo, Windrunner Matt. Yo, the Brick Gamer just donated uh, 99 euros. 99 euro or... I, no, no, not 99 euros. No, whatever. 99. Nine, I'm so I don't sorry. Know. I, we I'm don't know so for our currency, but thank you. I'm so bad at Lucas that. is here too. Funny. Welcome, Lucas. Look, you got the wow, fancy everybody. yellow badge next to your name because you've been a member for multiple months. That's funny. <laughs> uh... <laughs> To the act to the YouTube members who know each other as YouTube members, these are classmates from our, our high school that yes. were in the same program as Look, us. Look, I did it! I wow, think. you built a bird stand. There's several extra parts, but Look, I think that they're just. You built extra. your crank. Yes, I did. I built the crank. That was um interesting. Oh, you didn't click click. You gotta cl click oh. click. That's what the click click was for. I thought I clicked it. You didn't no, click click. I didn't click click. That's why it says click click. You click, gotta click click. click. <laughs> it's a funny little crank. I like it. What's chat saying? Uh, Matthew moment. Matthew asks what I am building. Matthew, I am building the uh, uh, the Iron Man house. What Matthew, do you think the text 99 pence. Thank you, because I... Uh, one I, British pound. Okay. Yes. I didn't think of it, because euros and pounds are very similar symbols, but one's like a one's like a very roundy, and the other one's like a curvy E, and I get the two confused, because I live in America. And I just couldn't see it. I just saw it was a foreign currency, and I was, and I thought that it was here. But I should probably yeah, educate pants. myself on that. Bonk. Oh, hey, now we're on to bag number two. I'm not doing too shabby. <laughs> All right, don't you agree? I'm not doing too no, bad. No, you're doing well. I'm not doing too bad. I'm not building slowly. No, you're doing well. I just think it's funny that you were expecting just like, oh, I'm going to build a bird. It's going to be easy. Yeah. And you're like, wait, what is Technic? Yeah, listen, I did not know that that existed. 
Well, I mean, I knew from you, but, like, I've never built it. You see the struggle I have to go through every day to produce content? See how difficult this is? Yeah. You're doing amazing. You're an amazing content creator. Look, I got a brick step right over my set. Wow. Unless this is yours. No, mine's over here. Okay, yeah. I got my little brick separator. God, I hate stickers. You're gonna, you're, uh, I'm losing time because, uh, I'm separating everything by color. Yeah? Yeah. I like to do it. No! It helps, oh, it what? Visually I think Miles me. just became a member on a second account. <laughs> oh, love that. <laughs> oh, no, that's Josh. That's Josh. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, Josh? Wait, why is half the, um, If I had to guess, class? they're probably in a Discord call right now, and they're probably, like, streaming it to everybody. That's really funny. <laughs> uh... Mine, did you have buying the Lego bird from the Brooklyn Designer Program? No, because it's $80, but it does look quite funny. Lego bird? Yeah. Yes. It's like a green bird. He's quite cute. Yes. Are you able to get it? No way. Land? Henry donated $700. Thanks, Henry. Yo. <laughs> we love that. Thank you, Henfrig. Okay, the rest of the red goes over here. Okay. Colors. It's all warm and oh wait no there's other no there's more colors. What what's the chat saying? Because I cannot see. Uh oh no, Shard K just donated ten. I don't know. You have a comma and then ten four zeros. Ten gurgajin million. Yep. Ten gagalagas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, lightning. Dog bark. Uh, Lightning Speed Extreme says, don't talk over your girlfriend. How have I been talking over you, Emma? I don't think so. <laughs> I've kind of just been vibing. <laughs> We've, and uh... if you have talked over me, then it's then it's probably to answer a question, which, like, right. that's valid. I'm and literally just like, I'm here building Lego. I'm not trying to mansplain her. We've, <laughs> we've had a healthy relationship for two and a half years. I yeah, we're really epic. I don't really think we need the advice. Of, I don't think I need the advice of Chad to make sure I'm respecting my girlfriend. I think <laughs> if she had an issue, if she thought I was talking over I her would one tell night, him. she would, would tell me. Out. She would tell me on stream. She'd be like, hey, yeah. I was speaking. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, sorry. I would. I, I would told, I would 100%. If there was something bothering me, like I will call you out on <laughs> it and be like, yo, you know, you're not letting me talk. I'm not cool with that. Thanks. Let me be a part of this. But I think, I think we're both having some yeah. chats. Yeah. Now I whenever I may I may speak over you when we get a donation because I like going yo yeah. right right on you but yeah. um <laughs> that's the only time I think I actively talk over you intentionally <laughs> yeah I gonna make more Pokemon videos soon I would like to I literally I the day summer ended like early May I filmed a video and I edited the entire thing and I just never uploaded it. Oh, you um, did? Oh, yep. yeah, I remember you filming that. Yep. And I had fun with it. I had a lot of fun, yeah. but I've just been focused on Bricks by Mind and whatnot. We have to... I, I, I know I said this, like, three times earlier, but we gotta we gotta stream soon and, like, play some Minecraft and, you know, other stuff, because um, I'm... Okay, but also, um, I don't know how many people also watch Mind and Emma on here. Oh, yeah, I guess we should say that. If you guys don't know, Emma and I... Uh, this Emma right here, and me right this here. Emma. We also have a Twitch channel called Mind and Emma, yes. and we play video games over there. So if you guys are enjoying the stream and you like the banter between us, <laughs> you can go watch us play some Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, we play Minecraft. We occasionally play Fortnite. Um, that's also where you stream your Pokemon, Pokemon videos. Yeah, which I also haven't done in a while. Um, maybe maybe next week I'll do it, because you're, you're going to be busy all next week, so maybe yeah. I can do a little bit of streaming. I might, because I, I, um... I don't, it would have to depend, I don't know how often I would do it, but I might start streaming videos myself as well, because obviously he films Pokemon videos himself, uh, because I've gotten into Slime Rancher, and, uh, I played it for, like, four hours a couple days ago, like, I just, like, I think I went through, like, a good chunk of the game, um, so I might start doing stuff like, um, maybe Don't Starve, uh, Slime Rancher, Portal, I don't know. I have, like, a gazillion games. Uh, there is one called Baba is You, which is a puzzle game, which I think that would be fun. I have all, I have most of the room games, um, all kinds of stuff. So, I might, I might end up, if I feel like it, I might do, like, a couple small streams of me, um just playing a game myself on days that you're like filming and i feel like streaming because that, be that might be fun to do uh don't name it mind and i'm gonna name it by emma um this channel already exists it's existed for like 
couple months now. What yeah. we started in May. Yeah, um, we did it in May, I think. So, yeah, a little too late. <laughs> you guys probably play the Portal 2 co-op together? I think that would be fun. I've never played yes, it. Yes! Uh, I have the game, I so. think I think Emma and I should do a LEGO Dimension stream together. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I have LEGO World. That was the other game that, like, came out on Steam. Um, wait, you have LEGO Worlds? Yeah. When did you get LEGO Worlds? Like, whenever it recently came out we get we get a lot of games like every time there's the the steam summer sale we get like a bunch of games we just got fruit ninja on vr yeah what fruit ninja on vr because we love it because ryan and i love and actually like my parents love beat saber too so we play that all the time and i guess fruit, yeah it's kind of like beat fruit saber, ninja came out on vr and it, it is fabulous so yeah um that's our new thing um so yeah, that I uh, fruit ninja. Next time you come over, maybe uh you can try it out. Okay, I'd be down. Play some fruit ninja. Oh god, Lego Dimensions gives me PTSD at this point. <laughs> Did I tell you hijack one hundred percent of that game? What? Hi, hi, yeah, that's hijack that said that. Oh hi hijack. Hi hijack. Um, he one hundred percent Lego Dimensions, which there's like a thousand gold bricks in that game. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh my god, that's that's a lot. I th I think we should because I have the capture card and I got yeah. we'd be playing it on Wii U, which would stink. But yeah. though theoretically, Crunch. we could probably get the game fairly cheap on 360, which you have a 360, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. So though yeah. we'd have to figure have out somewhere to stream it, which that might be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that might be hard. No. But haha, you drop something. I don't feel as bad about dropping things now. Let's see. I'm pressing these into here. Now we're making another funny thing. I love all of the complicated parts that go into this. Totally epic. What's chat saying? Uh, oh no, sussy baka. <laughs> Fruit ninja in real life. Um. Fruit ninjago <laughs> beat saber his Star Wars. Um, did you ever play the original Lego racing game? If you're talking about, like, Lego Racers on PC, I think I might own it, but I never really liked it that much. I had some, like, weird, like, four-game Lego pack when I was a kid for PC that I got for, like, $10 at a Staples. I love um, that. And I know it had the Galador game on it. I think it had Lego Racers. It had... There was some, like game where it was sort of like open world and you could build your own stuff and you could build like little machines that moved that was my favorite one but i don't remember the name of it um i never played galador because i didn't realize it was lego at the time i was just like i thought it was just some other random game packaged in with the lego games <laughs> i played um a really random game that i played at one point was <laughs> the original it was like this like it was hot wheels and it was like this really bad PC game that we had, um, and it was like extremely low quality, but you raced the Hot Wheel car on the track. And my brother mostly played it, but I played it once or twice, and um, I we probably still have it, but it like came it came on a um, like a disc, and we uh, and we would just put it into the into the tower on the computer and played that that was like a really random game i used to play uh, world of goo is another game i used to play like a while ago uh the meebleton that has not been scrapped that is actually coming sunday probably matthew and i are probably going to film that t tomorrow night um Ooh. emma made the layout the other yes, day I for did. us um it looks very good the members have already seen it but yeah. the uh, uh the rest of you will see it on sunday it's probably I'm, Sunday's not a promise, but it's going to be filmed Saturday, so I'm hoping to have it up on Sunday. Hopefully, um, I guess I didn't say what it was. If you guys didn't see his message, um, we Matthew and I are starting a series where every week we're going to go back and watch one old Ninjago season, and we're just going to give like a retrospective thoughts on it, just an overview of like looking back with how many seasons have come out, and we're going to go through all 15 seasons as well as Date of the Departed and the pilots. Um, and then if the series is popular, we'll also expand to other things such as mini movies, uh, Dark Island, um, all that other stuff. So it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a weekly series in addition to the podcast. I think it's going to be either Saturdays or Sundays usually, and the podcast will stay Wednesdays. It's going to be fun. Yay! Um, 
Looking through. Yeah. What do you rate Ninjago out of ten, both of you? It's about five. I don't really like it very much. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't think Ninjago is that great. Like, I think I picked up one or two sets in my time, but I don't know. One or two. One yeah, or two. that's one or two. One or two. That's only a few. Um, I enjoy Ninjago. I like <laughs> it. It's good. Um. I especially like watching it with you, because that was, like, the first show that we watched together yep. after we started dating, so, like, it was fun. It was fun to do. <laughs> I liked it. Um. Yeah? Uh, I had something I wanted to say. Oh, is that right? Someone said, at mine, at 50k subs, you have to destroy your favorite Ninjago set. No, I don't, but at 100k, I've said that I will make a video, I will make a tier list video ranking every single Ninjago episode. Oh my god, that's... If I get 100k subs, I will do it. Ugh. So, if you guys want to see that chaos video, yeah, get me to 100k subs. Wow. Yeah, I would I would be interested in seeing that too, just for the pure chaos of what that video will be and how long that will take. There's like nearly 200 episodes now. Yay! Party time! Because I there's, there's this video, this six hour video of this YouTuber who ranked every single Simpsons episode. And it's like, there's like... 800 episodes or something oh, like wow. it's crazy this goes here guys i can't find a part chat where's this part at uh party city it's, it's still so weird to me that matt hasn't seen all of ninjago yeah he hasn't so this will be oh it's because i was looking for the wrong part um <laughs> this will be his first time watching season 7 and 11 because he just never watched those two yeah destroy ninjago city Ninjago moment. Oh, wait. Did I put this on correctly? Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Mine, I recently got Feng Sui and Lazaru for $12. Was that a good deal? I really can't tell you because I don't know what, like, good prices are for the old Serpentine nowadays. I was fortunate enough that I got most of the old Serpentine back when they originally came out in 2012, and the rest I got around 2015 when they weren't that valuable. So nowadays, that might be a good price for them, but if it was still 2012, I'd say no, that's probably not a good, not a good price. Ugh, but. No, I dropped a one piece I'm just gonna... what part was it a stud it was a stud okay yeah then there's an extra of that in the box Yay, that's gonna be we'll get it after the stream gonna... um, hopefully i won't need it no if if studs they always include one extra for me to uh for me to drop pokemon idea a tier list every pokemon ever uh if we get to ten thousand on uh ten thousand is ten thousand enough 20, if we get to 20,000 subscribers of Pokemon, I will do that. Every Pokemon ever tier list. Yeah. I feel like I could do that very easily. And I feel like everything would be like A to S tier because I love every Pokemon. <laughs> Except for Embor. He's F tier. I hate Embor. Oh, that's not very nice. I don't like Embor. Worthless Pokemon. Wow. That's kind of rude. Poor Embor. Um, what in the universe? What? Here's I'm, me struggling with. Oh no! If there was Lego Fortnite, would you buy it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Black Widow? Nope, not yet. Nope. No spoilers, please. Thank you. I'm going to see it on Sunday. Um, I. Okay. Spoiler alert: Black Widow dies. She dies. Yeah. Just not in that movie. Just not in that movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a little confused. Can you help me? Yes. Okay. So it says do that. But, what? Hold on. Hold on, wait. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, I got this thing lodged in a funky sort of way. Yeah, I do. You shouldn't have put this in yet. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. So you push this in and push this all the way up like that. Okay. So it's a stopper. Mm -hmm. lo loosen it a little bit. It's a little tight. Okay. And then we'll put that on like that. And now when you spin this, the one on the inside spins too. Oh. Okay. And that spins these things on the side, and that's how the wings will move. That and that probably goes into yep. that, which then moves. See okay, it? gotcha, See? gotcha. Thank you. See, it's elaborate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Agreed. I'm Embor's bad, but your Gen Five starter isn't much better. Disagree. <laughs> Superior is the best Pokemon. No, he's, he's one of the best. I love Superior. Contrary is an awesome ability. His 
he's just so fun, like, mechanically, and his design is a snake, a grass snake. I forgot that I drew him. You did. I did. I'll have to pull that up, because I haven't looked at my Pokemon drawings in a while. Embor is just an ugly fat pig, and I hate him. <laughs> wow, that's kind of rude. And I also put that on wrong. Yes, I am epic. Um, now, yeah, 100k yeah. subs, you have to destroy every Minecraft set or else you will not be poggers. I have to destroy every Minecraft set soon anyway. If you guys can't tell, these shelves are very full. I don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Why is, you see, you see over by Emma, my monkey kid stuff's on my Star Wars shelf because I know yeah. where else to put it. I'm going to have to start taking stuff apart. It makes me sad. I'll probably make a full video about, guys, I got too much Lego. <laughs> guys, heartbreaking. I... I destroy my Lego sets? Like, six question marks. But, dude, if you told me at 10 years old that I... <sighs> that you would have so much Lego that you physically do not have Yeah, any if you told me at 10 years old that I would be a part of the Lego Master Network and they would send me free products and I would get to the point where my biggest Lego issue is that I have too much of it, I would <laughs> not believe you, but also I'd be like, please, that's yeah. all I ever want. Like... How would you rate Venipede? Venipede's cool. Scallopede is awesome, though. Scallopede's, like, one of the coolest bug types. Um, and he's got speed boost, which makes him, like, gives him a niche and, like, makes him fun mechanically. Because designs only go so far. I want Pokemon to have fun mechanics. Like, they don't have to be good, but I want them to at least have fun mechanics. That's, like, part of why I love Charger Bug, because his... You could be, uh, Charger funny with him funny. competitively. That's why I love Chad. Chad's my favorite Pokemon, and I took him to a tournament once, and I kind of memed on people a little bit, and one guy refused to shake my hand because I beat him with a Chad. That's so funny to me. How salty do you have to be to, like, be that? To be fair, if I got beat by Chad, I wouldn't want to show my face either. Yeah, but I would at least shake their hand and be like, you know, I'm angry about this, and I'm not going to be nice about shaking your hand, like, if I was that angry, but I would still shake hand. Because then, you, then you'll just be known as the guy who doesn't shake the people hand. Uh, hi, Jack. I, Oshawa is, like, I like his design. I just wish there was more to him mechanically because he's just a water type with only water type moves and his hidden ability isn't even interesting. Like, that's what makes me love, like, Superior's Contrary is so interesting. But, like, Samurott's cool, but what's he, I, oh. he's got shell attack. What's that move called? Razor shell, Funny that's moment. that's kind of cool, but it's like, they're, they could have done more with him. If they made a fighting type, that would have been cool. Um, but I feel like he really needed a secondary type. I'm way too concentrated on this. <laughs> like, I'm way too into this. Like, this is, look, he, it's his tail. Cool. It's I don't not done yet, but... I don't shake anyone's hands anymore, either, being as because it's, uh covid time now but that was like three four years ago and i went to that tournament and that was it's just like courtesy there to hey after you have your match with the pony say good game and you shake their hand but this man was like no you beat me with a chat eye, so i will not shake your hand that's so that's weird what his voice sounded like he goes, yeah that's i he's... sound like this is that uh, did he sound like a weird mix of the joke like he vaguely sounds like the joker there i'm the joker baby, I'm the joker, baby. i like telling jokes you want to hear a joke why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Yeah. Yeah. That was my joke. My joker joke. Your joker joke? That was my joker joke. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to your joker joke. I'm gonna put this. We're almost done. What's your favorite Pokemon now? Fast, it's Chadot. Chadot is my favorite Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, Superior and Incineroar are close seconds. Um, Charger Bug's up there. Uh... My favorite is uh, Togekiss. Togekiss. I love, I love Togekiss. <laughs> there, it's definitely my favorite Pokemon. Okay, we're putting him into here. What do you say about the new Lego Batman sets? What new Lego Batman sets? I thought they don't make Lego Batman sets anymore. Put him on this. So am I just this blind looks... or... What? This looks so wrong. What, the bird that's like got no body or anything? Yeah, well, that I'm looks... saying that. But... Oh. Let's see. That looks like an airplane I'd build as a kid. Yeah. Hold up. So what do we do? We literally I, just I swear his... the set comes with four extra clips that are not used anywhere, and I can't figure out where they would be used. Gently? 
Okay, now this, these things spin these. Yeah, Excellent. good, good. Yay! Oh no, now, no, I see where the clips go. Now he is just a tail that also has spinning things in the side. Okay, I'm gonna leave it done. That's it, I'm done. There we go. Bird's done. Bird's done. We're just gonna leave him as this. I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That reminds me, I also had a Lego airplane that was small, and um, I did, because we used to have uh, Mossy, one of my budgies, out um, a lot, because um, he's pretty tame, like, he'll come to my finger just, like, instantly, um, and, uh, and I once put him, and I sat him, he obviously didn't fit in the actual seat, because um, that's Lego size, but I put him on top of, like, the back of the airplane, and I, and I kind of, like, went, Neom, and I, and he just sat in the airplane while I, uh, while I flew him around, and I think, I think he had a good time. <laughs> um, mine, have you played Pokemon Unite? Uh, I have a little bit. It's pretty fun. Oh, I enjoy it. Much. It's the only thing I play on my Switch now, because my, uh, cartridge slot broke, so now I have to get a new Switch. Yay! But I can still play digital games, currently. <sighs> um... And that also reminds me, at one point, I was making a Pokemon ROM hack, a Ninjago-themed Pokemon yes, ROM hack. Yes. I never I never finished it or anything, but it, it was, like, half ninjago theme and half just, like, funny memes I put in there. Um, and, yeah, that, that was really... I would love to do it again someday, but it takes a lot of time and effort, but it, I think it would be so fun. Like, the... That would be. Each of the... So... Each of the gym leaders were like original concepts. Like Lego Jir was one of the gym leaders in the game. Um, there, <laughs> there, the the elite four was all the ninja, um, and then Lloyd was the champion. Um, and then there was going to be like hidden battles throughout the game where you could go and challenge each of the elemental masters. And your starter was going to be a dragon that. Um, was just like a, a random dragon who wasn't very strong but if you beat an elemental master they would give you an item to evolve it into a specific thing based on their element so you could evolve into whatever kind of elemental dragon you choose that's so cool and if you waited till the end of the game you could get ice fire earth or lightning but if you like you would be able to find like griffin turner earlier in the game and he would give you an item to evolve it to a really fast dragon <laughs> and uh yeah no it was i had a lot of fun ideas and i would still love to do it one day but it's just rom hacks take a lot of work and i uh i've been prioritizing youtube and whatnot so now i get two of these uh is emma a lego mario fan yes yeah i think i am i like seeing the lego mario stuff that you get have you seen him in action no, I haven't. I, I want to go get him. I oh yes, please get him. You entertain like the that. chat for a little bit. Yes, I'll entertain chat. I I'll take a I'll take a moment to uh, enjoy. Oh look, he flaps his wings. I'm gonna lean over here and check out the chat. Um, Master Wu and Smash. Yes. Well, that's a question for mind. What is your girlfriend's favorite season of Ninjago? I can answer that. Um, my favorite season... Actually, that's hard. I think I like Sons of Garmadon or... What's it? March of the Oni. Um, I, think those, I think those two would be my favorite. Um, I haven't seen Seabound yet, so... I don't know, but I know, I know Sean really liked that. Um... <laughs> M.O. <laughs> Matthew got a makeover. Oh my god. Oh, thank you to the Sensei. Welcome to the Sensei Wu tier. Thank you for becoming a member. Wait, I think that actually might be. Uh, is that James? Emma, what did you think of the philosophical answers between Garmin on in season two and Garmin on in season eight? Um, I might need Sean's help on that one. I have. It's been a while since. It's been two years since we watched stuff. Um. Emma, thoughts on Lego Luigi? I think Lego Luigi is really funny. I can't... The chat is scrolling. Let me go back up. Lego Mario is hideous. Um, I think Lego Mario funny. Uh, what is Joker Mind's favorite Pokemon? We live in a society where we live in a society. Oh yeah, Hunted. Is Emma really Matthew in disguise? Um, I'm not six foot, so I would say no. Um, Seabound is so sad, yeah. 
Who's my favorite ninja? Uh, probably Zane. I feel like he's the most competent of all the ninja. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. How's it been? Good. Um, uh, James Price, uh, it became a member. Oh, welcome, James Price. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much half of our classmates are members now. Um, All right, I got Lego Mario. You ready for this, Emma? Yeah. Ready? Wait, he's smaller than I expected. Yeah, that's how I felt when I first opened him. He's funny. Wait, he actually interacts. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then, so here, here, look. So there's yeah. your start pipe. There's your end goal. Uh huh. And then he has a little timer on him. Oh wait, that's And you that's gotta really reach cool. the goal in time. And then it tells you how many coins you got. But wait, but wait. That's kind of. Oh wow, I got zero coins. Yeah. Well, you know how you earn coins is you fight bad guys. Oh okay. So you get the little Lego Mario sets out, right? Alright, we're doing a full Lego Mario. Well, he... I don't know what I just did, but I, I hold him down and he... Because he reacts to different terrain and your hands are closest to red. So he thinks it's fire. That's you put him funny. here, He's like, oh, I'm in the desert. Put him here. He's like, I'm on grass. And there's also water. And That's the... funny. Purple's also poison, but like... We so don't have here... any purple. Here, I would start him here. Like, put him this. He gets points for doing all that. Cool. Gets coins for stopping on the. He should get coins for stopping on this guy. I don't know why he doesn't. He's having trouble reading that one. Funny. Okay. Oh, and I then like we his face. Reach the end goal. Nine coins. That's you did actually it. kind of cool. No, it's really like, complex. I, I I do like how I was against it at first, but I'm I fully become based to Mario pilled. So yeah, that's really cool. He looks absolutely terrifying when he's like turned not off. Activated. Yeah, he because he just is a void. <laughs> that's great. Um, what is chat saying? Um, I because I was answering a lot of questions. What's your favorite Ninjago set? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of Ninjago sets to choose from. I like any of the dragons. I like the dragons. <laughs> um, what skins do you and mind wear in Fortnite? Well, currently, he <laughs> wears Joker and I wear Harley Quinn because we thought that would be really funny when we streamed Ellen Mind and Emma. Um, and so, yeah, I think it, I think it, we literally just are Joker and Harley Quinn. All I know is I'm based in Mario build. I don't know about you guys. But... <laughs> yeah. Um, Super Mario time. What is Joker Mind's favorite Pokemon? So, and that was asked while Joker, you were gone. Joker Mind's favorite Pokemon would probably be... Hmm. Give me a moment. Um, Charizard. Yeah, why yeah. is that? Because everybody hates... Behind it? Because everyone thinks Charizard's so overrated. Oh, everybody likes Charizard. Game Freak gives too much attention to Charizard. So, Jokermine would go against the grain by going with the grain, if you know what I mean, you know? Yeah. That's great. Um, how was Martin, the fan you met up with at Disney Springs? He sadly passed away. He's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. He got run over by an 18-wheeler when we left the, uh, left Disney Springs. <laughs> God, that's <awful. laughs> Goodbye, Martin. But luckily, I met up with Matthew right after that, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is excellent content right here. Um, what am I doing? I have no idea. Ah, uh, brick Lego. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. You're doing brick Lego. Yeah. Mine, yeah. I'll give you ten dollars for all your Lego. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, that, I think that's a solid. Uh, like fantastic idea. Yeah, this Mark One Iron Man so it's kind of epic. I'm really glad they made this. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of cool. Fans have won this for years. Look at him. It's kind of funny. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. Yeah. Like it looks like it. Yeah. Um. Yo, gamer moment. What Minecraft skin do you use? Uh, I changed my Minecraft skin at the moment. I think it's a Pyro Whipper skin that I. There was two people who made Pyro Whipper skins, and I forget whose I use. There's. I know Craftmaster C made one of them. Um, and who made the other one? Hydro or something? Hydro was just the other. Yeah, but, but, um, there was, he was on Reddit, 
Yeah. And I'm trying to remember his name. It's been a long time since I'm on the Reddit. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I forget the Reddit people's names. Um. Oh, I feel really bad that I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Wait, did I put it in this one? Okay, yes. I'm also trying to, like, build while I'm doing this, too. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't Fire Blaster 170, I don't think. I know... No, but he made some great fan art yeah. of you and Matt. Um, I know I know who you're talking about. Actually. The name's, like, on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yeah, they do have, like, water in their name somewhere. Yeah, um... I'm gonna... I'm yeah, gonna go look, because right I want to give... I want to give the artists credit, because they're yes, talented people. they're great. Oh, my God. Sorry, I can... I can, I can, I can oops, as I hit the microphone. There's a blue one. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that's Emma is currently sick. obsessed with Squishmallows. I'm not obsessed. With water Blazek, Water Blazek, yes. Thank go. you, Suntan. Oh Thank you, Suntan. Yes, Water Blazek made the other one. I forget. I who... knew it had to do with water. I forget whose I'm using at the moment, but. I think um, his. Okay. It but might be. I know him and Craft Master C both made skins, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Both of them, very talented. Very yeah. talented people. I appreciate them both making Pyro Whipper skins. Very, very epic. Yes, very epic. Incredibly epic. Thank you, I wasn't, I'm, wasn't it, like, at a certain amount, I was going to wear, um, I was going to wear right? was gonna wear What the was the number? Whipper. 500 followers? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 500 followers. Oh my god, now Gabe's a member. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome, Gabe. Thank you for joining Sensei Wu tier. Thank you. Um, let me put this here. Slowly. Hold on. Oh, right, 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 right. There we go. Mm, having some trouble there. Put it on the wrong way. Yeah, Henry, that sounds like a good deal. What did he say? He said, uh, if I send you my extra Spinjitsu SOG Kai, can you send me a Syndicate Skeletor and White Pythorn? That's like <laughs> over $100 worth of mini figures oh, for like that's great. a figure that's worth like maybe eight. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's a great idea. Uh, what's one country you wish you could visit? I want to go to Japan because I think it'd be kind of funny. Um, I would like to, well, there's a couple countries I'd like to visit. I'd like to go to Ireland because, um, I think, I think I technically have family in Ireland, but we don't know. But for the record, the reason I, oh, sorry, sorry yeah. to interrupt, but I, uh, the reason I think Japan would be funny is because I know there's a lot of people that are, like, really into Japanese culture, so I think, but, like, I like some Japanese media, like Pokemon's cool and whatnot, but I just think it'd be funny to go because I'm not, like, as into it as those people are, so I think it'd be <laughs> funny if I went and they didn't. Yeah. Um, unironically, though, Denmark, because Lego. Yeah. Well, you probably get to go to Denmark anyways. Yeah. Um. Oh, I dropped a piece. That's so sad. Rest in, ha, rest in peace. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's under here. Henry, I'm not answering that question. What did he ask? What is my country you would not like to visit? <laughs> um, I don't think I answered the country question. Hold you on. said Ireland. Uh, yeah, Ireland, and I would also like to go to Italy because they have a uh, they have a lot of gluten free food there. I don't know where this piece went. Oh, it's over here. Um, we're both part Irish, both Emma and I. Yeah. Emma's like full Irish, and I'm like my great grandparents 50%. came from Ireland. My so. my mother's side is from Ireland, and my father's side is Italian. Yeah. So. I'm like I think I'm like Irish. German, Czechoslovakian, Hungarian, I don't know. I'm like a weird random mix um, of things, but it's fun. Um, oh yeah, we started talking about the, the Squishmallows, although I'm, I feel like that is embarrassing to announce my... Uh, Your Squishmallow addiction? Yeah. It, no, it's not as... It, it's not a... Um, Hold on. Am I doing this correctly? I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. There we go. Um, yeah, I I think they're funny and I like I like dragons because I never really had dragon stuffed animals because all of them like are not huggable. So I oh, like Oh Zane the... Van, welcome to Sensei Wu Tier. Oh hey. I think, I'm pretty sure you've been a member before, but yeah, welcome I back. Think so. Thank you for supporting. Welcome back. Um What was I saying? Um, yeah, I like them, they're funny, and I like dragons and birds so anything dragons and birds i like but they're funny squishmallows are uh do we say what they were 
They're basically, it's, uh, they're like different size, like stuffed animals, but they're literally just like egg shaped. And um, they're very large, or the, actually there are small ones. There's like, I won, I won a couple like five inch ones at the, uh, at the boardwalk one time. Um, but yeah, they're very, I just think they're very funny. So, um, I'm definitely not a collector like, uh, some people, like some people have like hundreds of them and I don't know how they still have money, uh, because they'll go out and like buy like a hundred dollars worth in a day. Yeah. I can't imagine what it's like to own thousands of dollars worth of a children's toy. <laughs> I don't I have no idea how someone I could afford that. I think they're very that. funny. I think they're very funny. So I like them. Um, yeah. Um, God, I these live streams have just done nothing but improve once I added uh, um, filters that from the word subscribe. You cannot comment the word subscribe in chat anymore. Yeah. And, whew. Yeah, I remember that your first live streams were like really chaotic yeah. with that, and I had to filter out so many things. And once you put filters in, uh, it it goes so smoothly, and pretty much then like, what? Instructions just fall oh, apart. Oh, funny! Yo, instruction moment. Um, this is very complicated, but that's fine. One in Dragon Legacy sets. Would you like to see next wave? Uh, Great Devourer, Cole's Tread Assault, uh, yeah. Ninja Copter, Titanium Dragon. Ninja Copter. Misfortune Keep, but that one's not happening. But I would really like that. Those are my answers. Shove that into what? Oh, don't you love my sound effects? Can we talk to the Overlord Dragon? Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes, there he is. Hey, buddy. Been a while. How you doing? Oh wait, so I speak into the microphone. Okay, that's enough from you. Why? Why? I don't why? know. Ask him while he's talking like that. Thanks. Look, I, I, I don't know what. Oh, if this is a part of a wing. Yes. Cool. You're building wings, baby. I'm looking. Emma, have you ever gotten bored while watching Ninjago? Um, no, I have not. Because she was with her boyfriend, who she loves very much. Yes. Um. Oh my god, yeah, the role play. I think the role players were more in the Mind and Emma chat. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, Where is Kalmar? Bring him back. No. <laughs> no. No. We are not kissing on stream. That's weird. <laughs> we'll kiss in our own time. Thank we'll you very much. We'll kiss in our own time. Thanks. Um... <laughs> uh. Okay, then I put this piece. Oh, unless you're talking about me kissing the Overlord Dragon, in which case, oh. um, <laughs> he's having some personal issues he needs to sort out right now. Maybe later. Yeah, why would why would we ever think that uh, they would mean? For you know, the us two people kiss. in the relationship. Yeah. On... Someone just want to know if I know t t t Tunisia. I do not. Huh? I'm not very worldly when it comes to my geography. I know. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Never heard. Where, where's the place that everyone always asks Matt to uh, review? Um, Uzbekistan. Uz Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Yeah. Um, time to put this here. Mind making an update of the room tour? There's not much to update. I'm going to make a video that's going to be like, hey, I got too much hey. Lego. I don't know what to take apart. What do you guys think I should take apart? Um, But there's not really much to update it's all like in the same locations it's just everything you've seen me review in the past year now that's on the shelves as well yay cool beans um <sighs> what i all of the gcit p oh oops um they're talking like uh they're talking like people who like um, like little kids who are not very good at typing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Mind and them are more like mind and overlord dragon. Yeah. True. What are well? Uh, okay, so now I have to put him on again. I don't like doing that. So we put this, and we put this. 
I actually one thing I has updated is the way I store my minifigures now. That's pretty cool. I do like the way I do that now. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh, now we put more pieces. It's in Africa. Well, I learned something new today, Beth. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. We like we like learning things. Learn something new every day. Yep. Today I learned where t t Tunisia is. Um. Oh goodness. There's more things to build, and we're not even done to him. Yeah. Okay, where am I putting them? What are uh, you what are you call. making this? What are you making? Oh no. Now I'm gonna put these down. <gasps> Oops. <sighs> yeah. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> That's great. I think I just laughed right into the microphone. I hope I didn't give anyone permanent ear damage. Oh god. That's so dumb. Why? Why did you do that? Wait, how do I put this on? What? 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 You need help? No, it's just dumb. You know? It's bothering me what are guys i'm really offended cool collaborations is not winning <laughs> oh my gosh oh uh, cool collaborations pulling ahead let's go yo what sports do you watch does competitive pokemon vgc count because if so that no i'm not i'm not a bit not a huge sports fellow myself um matthew watches hockey yeah matthew watches hockey. do you watch any sports emma um I used to be uh, bigger into sports when I was little, but um, I don't really watch sports. I watch a uh, like if we go to if we go to a sports game, like I have a, I have a lot of fun, but I don't I like unless it's on. I don't actively watch it. Um, it's more so of like what if they have cool collaborations? Yeah. If, oh, I gotta watch it if they got cool collaborations. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not the biggest sports fan. Um. I I enjoy I enjoy it if it comes on though. I think because there's so many toxic people in sports, um, I I get stressed and then I, I would rather like I would rather play Minecraft than feel stressed. Uh, we got someone in chat called Pyro Whipper, but he's uh, built different. Thank you. <laughs> I oh, love sorry, that. Hydro, Hydro Whippers, but but he's built built different. That's great. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost just broke. Something. Uh, Crazy Toad Gaming asks, is there any dabbers? Yo, guys! Do you guys know the dab? It's this cool new dance move. My uh, my twelve year old sister told me about it. It's called the dab. It's where you go like it's like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm trying. I know I have a lot of young viewers, so I'm like trying to see if I can make them believe I'm younger than I, I'm older than I am, or yeah. like more out of touch than I am. It's like maybe maybe kids don't know like like I don't know how different. Like the true experience of being nineteen, so maybe they're like, "Wow, that's old." So yeah, maybe he is really out of touch. Yeah, I think you're out of touch with the dab. Yeah. Did I? Am I doing something wrong? How do yep. I? How do I insert this in? Hmm? What? What are you having trouble with? Um. Oh, it goes like that. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, it's angled. There we go. They didn't, like, they have a really bad angle where you can't really see it well um, yeah. for the way they put that in. So I thought it went underneath for a while. But that, that makes sense. Henry, dabbing was banned from your school? Wait, what? <laughs> Do you remember when we were at um, our school dance the one year and there was an entire T-pose circle? I try not to. You were in it, so. I know. I'm aware of yep. where I was mm -hmm. during that moment. Yep. I know. I liked you back then still. <laughs> that was the dance where you actually first fell for me, wasn't it? Uh, that one, uh, yeah, it was around the time. I think I kind of liked you there, but then I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. Lego Mario time. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. So he gets dizzy if you shake him too much. Oh, wait, that's funny. He's kind of creepy, but I like him. See you 
later. One day, Matthew, we talked about doing it before, but one day, Matthew and I are going to uh, learn the dance from the uh, Luigi reveal trailer. Yeah. And um, I think we're going to do should. it together. Oh, good. Good. Um, yeah. That's a gamer moment. Yo. Yo, I did it. You did it? I did it. Why did they give us so many extra blue parts? That means you didn't put enough in somewhere. What? Look, that's supposed to mean that you forgot I'm on this yellow piece. Oh, I'm the fool. Yep, you should never get more than one extra part. So if you have more than one, or if it's a big part, you should go back and check the instructions and see if you missed something somewhere. Gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. New Super Mario. <laughs> okay, now we're on to pack number three. We got this. Oh, okay. He's just in lava dying. Rest in peace. That was creepy. Do I have any purple around here? I, need to I don't know. know. Okay, you want to see him on purple? Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. I put that right up in the mic so everybody can hear it. Yay! Congrats. Um, what is chat saying to that? Um, Are they scarred? Because I would be. No Super they're Mario. They're just saying Lego Mario sus. Bunch of question marks. <laughs> Yo, Lego Mario sucks. Emma said it's a Joker 2019 reference because it's a phoenix like Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Funny. <Sure. laughs> you ever consider that one, Emma? Yo, bet no, you, I didn't. Bet you didn't. Nope. I did not. You wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. We vibe in. Mine, tweet something funny, please. Okay. Um. Among Us. That's what I said. I'm going to tweet something funny right now because okay. chat told me to. Yeah. All right. What are you gonna tweet? Um, good question. Yeah. Uh. Sorting my parts. I'm gonna keep up with chat. Um, gamer moment. Okay, don't read this out loud, but just tell me, is that a good tweet? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Guys, let's go see my funny tweet. Go. Go to my Twitter. Bye, Henry. Bye, Henry. Hey, mind. Funny Kai. Lego Mario time. Lego Mario lives in a society. True. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm heading out as well. Bye, hi, Jack. Bye, hi, Jack. See you in like a month. Yeah. I might move in early, so that, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, guys, go check to Twitter. I just made a very funny tweet. Guys, go support. Uh, and guys, by go retweet it. Bricks by Mind on Twitter. Also, I just want to give a real quick reminder that uh, I had a video earlier today, and it's very good. I spent a lot of time on it, genuinely, and I appreciate if you guys after the stream could go watch it because... Yeah, he's really epic and cool. Yeah, but I, I spent a lot of time on that. Yeah. Do you like the fan Lego mocks? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of good mocks. Yeah. Um, Lego Mario is so relatable. True. Yo. Ah. Yeah. Many Lego. So what, you're in bag three of... Four. Four. Mm -hmm. You're getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Getting I'm there. actually building at a pretty decent pace. And it looks like no tech... You might be done with the Technic parts now. It might just be physical wing. Yeah. Wing moment. Oh, no, I think you're building the tail now. The wings are next bag. No. Um, I'm building the wings. Oh, okay. This is the wing bag. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm think Chat, do you think I'm building faster or am I building slow? <laughs> you're doing well. You're doing a good job. Yeah? Yeah. Who's going to win first? Because I also have four bags, and I'm just starting bag three now. Oh. <laughs> well, you're more experienced with it, but I thought I would be building a lot slower than I am. So. Um, do you have the Disney castle? No. I've, like, considered it, but it's big and expensive and big. And I don't, not the world's biggest Disney fan. 
I like the novel. But that but... was our first vacation. Okay, I'll go spend three hundred fifty dollars on the Lego Disney Castle. No, you got the you got the uh, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, I got the Rise of the Resistance. We went set. on that, which is very that so cool. that ride. That was amazing. Slaps. That like, was. I want to see. I want to go again. Like yeah. I would go to Disney just to go on that ride again, even though there's not even a guaranteed chance of us getting on because the queue fills up instantly. If I was going to get Disney Castle, I'd much rather get the Frozen Castle. I'm very strongly considering that set because I, That's cool. I love ice themed things. I love ice characters. I love ice palaces, and that's like the Season Eleven Palace, but way cooler. And I like Frozen well enough, but like I wouldn't, I'm not even going to be buying it for the movie. It's just I like ice themed things. That's a giant ice castle. Yo, ice moment. Igor's in the last bag. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. How difficult was it to get on to the ride? I mean, we had to join the virtual queue at uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. and we joined immediately, and we were number 43 of 100. Yeah. Um, so you had to be like very quick and very lucky with it. But I mean, once we did, like by the time we got to the park, we just walked onto the ride. We didn't really have to wait in the line that much. Yeah, it was great. It actually worked out because it was right after we had a fancy dinner together and we had our little date. So um, it was it was perfect. It was so much fun. And that rot, like my jaw was just dropped the entire time. Yeah. I actually, I I watched a I watched a ride through of it again just because I wanted like some yeah some feeling of it again. And and I showed it I showed it to my parents and I was like, guys, look how fun this is. Yeah, the Star Wars Death Star. Yes, that was the first like really big set I got as a kid. I I wanted it like for years because I have the original, not the. Uh... Not the like what 2015 remake, um, but I like for years because it originally came out in 2008, and from like 2008 to like 20, I think I got 2014 maybe is when I got it, Christmas 2014. Um, I wanted it that entire time, and I would always beg my parents for it. And they're like, no, too expensive, too expensive. But one year they finally got it from me for Christmas, and like, it was so cool. Like, <laughs> They clearly like saved up so they were able to get it for me and it was very sweet and cute. Yeah. I so I really need to look into it because the whole queue process confuses me. So you just download the Disney World app and like on the main section it says join the Rise of the Resistance queue and at exactly seven AM it opens up. You press join, you put in your number of people in your party, I put two, and then you join. Yeah, honestly the Disney app is great because it's like we ordered all of our like breakfasts and everything while we were still getting ready in the morning and then it would just like i would say like five ten minutes before you are ready to go to the food court like we would just order our food from the app and pay and then it would just be like okay it's ready and we would just go up and get our food like we didn't have to wait for anything so it wasn't like we had to rush in the morning and get ready we could take our time and then just go eat our food it was great but yeah that cute filled up instantly i still don't know how we got into it um but i feel so lucky that we did because it was amazing it was so much fun hey mind you like jungle zane are you referring to island zane or are you referring to zukin zane because neither of those are called jungle zane but both <laughs> can be called jungle zane jungle moment either way i like both of them Beans. Oh, I guess I'm making the wing now. Um, what is this? This is funny moment. Who would win, Kai or Red Sun? I can't really say because Red Sun's mostly just played for laughs in that show. His powers are cool, but I feel like I don't. Even though I've watched the entire thing, I don't have a good grasp on like what he can do. While Kai has been in more like serious situations, so we've got to see the full extent of his powers a little bit more. So I. I'm tempted to say Kai, but could be Red Sun. I just don't know enough about him. Mm. You're like a Monkey Kid fan, Emma. Um, that's one I haven't watched, but I've heard a lot from you, so I feel like I have some idea of Monkey Kid. That's so. fun. Yeah, I I think it I think it funny. Monkey. Uh, was that the only Star Wars ride you went on? No, we went on all of them. Um, Sm yeah, we went on Smuggler's Run. We went on Star Tours. And the only one we didn't do, I guess, was the build a lightsaber. Yeah, because that was uh, SNC. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, w would you get a lightsaber? Um, if I had the extra money, like, that would kind of be cool. What color would you get? 
Is there is there I probably blue or purple. Yes. I wish that there was like a bluish green color, like a yeah. teal. Like that would be nice, like a mix. So the those the like the four main colors in the ride, and then you can also outside of it you can buy the yellow and the That's uh, cool. white. Okay. White would kind of be funky. Yeah, it'd be the same color as your skin. That's so rude. Guys, look how pale she is. Yeah, I am really pale. If you couldn't tell she had Irish heritage, look at her skin. Like, <laughs> and I'm very pale too, but like, yeah, you're very I'm pale, way darker. But... I'm way darker than her. Yeah. White people moment. <laughs> white people moment. Yo, white people moment. We ever make a public Discord server? Nope. No. Because the reason the Discord, the reason it's a members only at all, is because. I I have heard too many stories of things in Discord servers going wrong. Number one, public Discord server just means, hey, if anybody wants to raid it, they can. They could just be like, hey, let's all just go into the Brookside Mine Discord server and send terrible things. And yeah. nobody can stop them. Now, that could still happen this way, but every single one of those people would have to pay me a dollar. So, um, yes, yeah, so, so it, it's people, much pe easier to track. Yeah, and people would be less, it's less likely for it to happen if it costs money. Number two, um... I know a lot of my fans are on the younger side, so mm -hmm. I feel like having a credit card there, like having to pay with a credit card means you're either old enough to have your own card or your parents know what's going on, because I don't feel comfortable having very young kids in a server. Um, Where, like, without... something bad could happen, yeah. because that's... Because I know, I know bad people use Discord to try to target young kids, and I don't mm -hmm. want that happening in my server. Yes. So, now, again, that's... The paywall doesn't completely prevent that, but... Yeah. We it, know it, that. Yes. Yeah. It helps reduce the uh, the likelihood of that happening because the, the bad people would have to pay pay money and the um and the kids would have to find some way to pay. But then I hope at least like the parents would know what's going on so the parents know, okay, kid used money for whatever thing, so yeah. let's keep an eye on that. Um And then that's why it's it's only a dollar, you only have to pay once. I'm not gonna kick you out the next month if you join. It's only, it's like, I tried to make it as cheap as, I believe that's the cheapest you can make a YouTube membership is a dollar. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it can go any yeah. cheaper. But, um, yeah, it's like, you have to pay a dollar once to join, and I'm not going to kick you out ever unless you start breaking the rules. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah. the paywall's there is to avoid people who are too young from joining. Exactly. It's just safer that way. It would be fun to have a public Discord, but just the risks of it are way too great, and we would rather not have to shut down the Discord and not have any Discord. Yeah. We'd rather just have a member one that can be, you know... Yeah. Like, if... And it's like, if you... If anyone were to make, like, a fan Bricks by Mine Discord, like, we would not be associated no. with it at all yeah. because we would not want to be tied to that. Yeah, and you're just welcome to. Case. Like, you're welcome to. I'm just not going to promote it on the page. But, yeah. like, if you guys want to talk to other Bricks by Mine fans, feel free to do whatever you want. I can't control you. I'm not going to be like, oh, excuse me, that's my brand. Like, you're welcome to, but the official one will only be mm -hmm. members only and it will remain that way. Yep. Will they ever make a Lego Moro? They did in 2015. I assume you mean a Legacy one, in which case, uh, maybe. I hope so. Maybe. Ooh, I'm starting to make the wings. Exciting. Funky. I'm almost finished bag three. You are? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Speed up! Mm. I'm going fast! Who would win? Lady Bone Demon or Samukai? Oh, uh, Lady Bone Demon would wipe the floor with Samukai. Samukai, like, couldn't stand up to anyone. He was kind of just useless. He looks cool, but he just died from holding four swords too much. Like, <laughs> Mood. um, Lady Bone Demon, like, bang. Dang. She's, she's strong. Dang. She, she fought the Monkey King. Monkey! <laughs> aren't you, aren't you so glad that I'm here with my commentary? Uh, how, how long will you guys stream until Emma finishes her set, so three to four years maybe hey I'm wow joking. i'm just joking with you wow. i'm just joking how rude i'm just joking <laughs> you know they do call me a bit of a joker so that's what i do i joke oh, really yeah you joke i joke because okay, i am the jokester you're the jokester jared jokester uh you think island zane is good yeah i like that figure it's one of my oh, we're more favorite on. island figures i think jay is probably my favorite but sam's up there Oh, they both go in here. Epic moment, bird moment, bird moment. 
did Samurai have four arms when he was alive? I don't know how Ninjago skeletons work in the lore because if you you die, you go to the Departed Realm. So where did the skeletons come from? I think the skeletons are just like a race of, or if you're cursed, you go to the Cursed Realm, which also doesn't make you a skeleton, it makes you a ghost. So I don't know how you become a skeleton. So I don't know if he was ever alive. I think they just might be a race of skeletons. That's funny. Would you be kicked out of the Discord if you stopped being a member? No. I don't, and the only reason you would be kicked out is if you did something. Like, um, I would be more likely to... Like, if you're causing trouble, usually we just try to resolve it. Now, if you continually cause trouble and you're not a mem member, I'd be more likely to kick you out. But if you're just good and you follow the rules and everything, which there aren't many, it's just, hey, don't be a jerk. Yeah, um, don't be a jerk. Don't do anything illegal. <laughs> yeah. Um, as long as you're following those rules, you're welcome to stay as long as you want. You literally just have to become a member one time ever and you'll you'll be good yeah yeah it's pretty it's pretty chill as long as like you have no malicious intent yes you know and you're a nice fella yeah nice fella moment i think this is oh it's another part of the link and occasionally i give early info about videos like yeah this upcoming series i've got going on with matthew i posted the layout of it to the thing that said coming coming this weekend are you the joker or the jokester? I'm a little bit of both. Bit of a joker. Bit of a jokester. Yeah. I just like to make people laugh. You're so amused at yourself. With that. Let's see. Now we turn it around. We're making things. What's the chat saying? Hello, chat. I wonder why more was in the name of the day of the part of the chat. So that's because, uh, uh, what's it called? Um... Possession sets were still on shelves then, so they didn't need to re-release him. Where does this go? Does this I wonder why Samakai wasn't in the sets, though. You should post short reviews on TikTok. I used to. I did it a few times, but I, kn I know I need to build up my TikTok audience because that's a good place to build up an audience. But man, I hate making TikTok videos. They're so obnoxious to make. <laughs> um, Aha. But yeah, if you go to my TikTok, I do have a few Lego videos there. But yeah. Can you shout me out, please? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. If Why? You what? Why is there a separate instruction booklet just for Igor? <laughs> Funny. I don't think I. I realize my hair is a lot shorter than the last time they saw us because I got my hair cut. That's true. Uh, right before vacation. Uh, what's one Jaga character you think we'll never get or never get again? Never get again is, um, Samakai. I don't think he's ever happening, because they've had, like, mo ample chance to make him, and, like, they didn't bring him back for Day of the Departed, they didn't bring him back for Legacy 1, they haven't brought him back for the Fire Dragon, like, what are you laughing at? I read some of the, some of the stuff. Look at, near the top. <laughs> What, Elsac Zane? Yeah. I just found that really funny for some reason. TikTok is where I came from back in December when he got early cups of 2021 Lego sets. Oh, that's actually that's awesome, awesome to hear. Yeah, I don't know. I have an early product coming mid November that I might post a TikTok for. I was planning to do a Thor house, but I ran out do a TikTok about the Thor house, but I ran out of time because we were going on vacation. Yeah. Vacation time. Um, but this other product that I'll be getting, I might do a video on that because I think TikTok audience might enjoy that. I feel like the Ninjago audience on TikTok might be a bit smaller, so this is... I can't reveal too much about it, I guess, but this is from a theme where I feel like there'll be more of an audience for it on TikTok, so I'll have a very yeah. strong niche there. Um, but... Yeah, we'll see. I, I, would, I would like to build up TikTok more, and I'd also like to do more fun videos on TikTok. You guys see my duet with Lego Gear the other day? <laughs> and by the other day, I mean like a month or two yeah, ago. Yeah, it was like, uh, that was a while ago. Um, I feel like TikTok has become so big at this point um, that, I mean, I've seen streamers get like, from like, they were only a couple hundred subscribers or followers, and like one of them in like two months got to like 10,000 followers just through advertising on TikTok and stuff. Because obviously on Twitch, you like slowly grow. But they got such a large base on uh, on TikTok that they uh, like it. I, I if it's done properly, like yeah, that would be very powerful for the channel. But um, 
Did you see? Did you see anything about Monkey Kid coming to Amazon? No, I did not. Um, that's cool though. Does that mean the sets will be on sale? Because that's what I care about. If they go on sale. It's kind of cool. Because God, they're expensive. But <laughs> um, that's cool. I'll believe it when I see it. But are you still on? Or did you open up set four? Yeah, I'm on bag four. Ah. <laughs> I'm I'm going fast. I'm Your actually... final bag doesn't look like it has many parts in it. No, it doesn't. I'm doing good. Again. Did only Rise of the Resistance require you to queue on the app? Um, yes. That's only they require to queue on the app. There's others that need reservations ahead of time, like mm -hmm. the the droid builder that we did that yeah. needed a reservation to do that. Yeah. Um, so like, I think sixty days ahead of time you can get reservations. Yes, sixty days ahead of time. You want to do that right away because we um, didn't, and it was like very difficult to get. Yeah, you're very limited because we didn't realize that you had to make reservations online. Um. So that's either through the website or the app. Website and the app is like the same thing. App is, you know, that's good for like mobile orders, virtual queues and stuff. And also, um, if you're going to Disney like in this year, I'm sure they'll still have it. But they also, um, uh, most of the times with restaurants, before they can even let you in, you have to scan in mobile order. So at that point, you might as well just like mobile order while you're like, you know across the park mobile get your order and place it so that way you can eat and you'll be let in because they won't even let you in until you more um mobile order on your phone um i don't think you need the app for that but it uh yeah that was my i just got tiktok on the brain now now i'm thinking like what kind of tiktoks can i make yeah yeah all right, guys. Well, hi, TikTok. Then we count down top ten Lego sets. Oh, oh. I am good for TikTok because you got to talk very fast on TikTok. People always complain that my videos are too fast. You are so. very fast, so it works out. Yeah. Well, you should see, guys. Go check out my TikToks from the uh, the 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 legacy one. sets in the winter because holy crap, I had to talk fast in those. Yeah, you do. You do talk fast. <laughs> Ooh, bird moment. Bird moment. What's Once I finish this wing, I'm gonna show give a little preview. What's your favorite Twenty One Pirates song? Personally, the fan consensus is "I Am the Joker" in Minecraft. I believe that one's strong, but Mr. Halo will always be my magnum opus. I don't oh, think I can surpass that. Yeah. There's a bit of beauty to that one that I don't think everyone appreciates enough. Um, yeah. The thing with Mr. Halo is like I know it's not my highest effort one. I know something like "I'm the Joker" in Minecraft has a lot more time, a lot more creativity put into it, but part of the like. The fact that, I don't know, the thing about Mr. Halo, the fact that so little of that song has changed makes it even funnier. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, there we go. I was like, what did I just do? Just a little fun. Make a brother monkey TikTok, it'll 100% blow up. Okay, yeah, I'll brother do that. Brother monkey, monkey moment. Honestly, I could just make collection videos on TikTok because those probably do well. Guys, yeah. check it out. Here's every Lego Ninjago minifigure ever. Ever. Mine puts the milk in before the cereal. Number one, gross. Number two, I don't eat cereal at all. That's gross. <laughs> but if I did eat cereal, I would not put the milk in first. It's just like as not splash me. Yeah. Gross. You guys are disgusting. Um, what am I doing wrong? Personally, who's the strongest ninja? Uh, Lloyd. But not counting Lloyd because he is objectively the strongest. Zane? Probably Zane. Zane or Cole, I feel like. I don't know. Anyone but. No! Though post C bound, it's probably Nia. But pre C bound, she was by far the weakest. Crunch. Bird! Okay, I have to make one more and then I'm good. And then I'm good for this side, I mean, I think. Or at least Twin on Pirates on Spotify. I should. You should. That would be funny. I feel like there's... It's not easy on Spotify. You need to, like, sign a licensing contract with some brand or whatever, I think. Oh, really? I'm not, I think so. What and I, like, that? I don't know how fair use my songs actually are. <laughs> yeah. Considering 90% of the lyrics and all of the backing music is exactly the same, but I just say... Mr. Ha Though I sing very poorly, so maybe that gives me extra points. Like, yeah, I think I I'm, think... you know, it sounds different. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different song. I need to learn how to auto tune my voice. Yeah, you should. There's a there's probably another Twenty One Pirates song coming soon. 
Um, I told you about it. It's, it was Henry's idea. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Henry's you back did. in the chat, right? Yeah, he is. Because I, I know so. he left. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. Yep. So. Oh my god. That that's pro that's still in my. I saw his idea like right before he left for vacation, but that might happen within the next week. Yeah. Emma's busy for the next week, so I get to have full reign of chaos. Yeah. And yeah. do whatever I I'm want. Doing stuff. Um, I actually, uh, I'm, well, this is just for a certain thing that I can't reveal because it would disclose location, but uh, I'm actually meeting with a publication team, uh, next Tuesday, Yes, which is very exciting. Um, well, couldn't you give them a general idea of what, because it's for the college, right? You yeah. say what it is for a college. Yeah. I just um, won't say what college. Yeah, so, um, our college, because I'm obviously a graphic design and a, um, a f arts major, and so for every year they create an entire book that has, uh, like, the best works by, uh, students that they, you know, like, they can submit and enter to have a chance to be featured in it and it's from like a bunch of different categories like paintings and drawings and digital work and so um so i actually applied to be um one of the team members that creates the book and i did get in so uh, i actually will be help uh like creating and like making the book and the whole theme and putting the artwork into it and hopefully uh my artwork will also be accepted into the book uh because i can apply for that as well um so that's very exciting so yeah i will be i will be making that um which is very fun which i'm very happy about so that's very cool What's, what else is chat saying? Um, Bone Demon or Iron Doom? Uh, that's a tough one. Probably Bone Demon because the glow in the dark parts are cool, but I do really like the Iron Doom. It's a very good set, but Bone Demon's like pretty incredible. That's I'll, Matthew and I are probably going to do our top 10 sets of the year just, again this year, just like we did last year, and Bone Demon will most likely be on at least one of our lists. Yay. Um, Because that's a quite good set. That's somewhere behind us. Uh... Bone demon. Yeah, there it is. Yep, there, there it goes. It's off there. camera, but off camera, off camera moment. Yep. Apparently, it's free to publish games on the Switch. Really? Really? But all my games mainly use copyrighted things. So, can I make a Matthew simulator and put it on the Switch? Please do. I mean, I guess you need his permission, not mine. But I think he'd be <laughs> definitely cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we please have a Matthew simulator? Yeah, yo, y'all play Matthew Simulator on Switch? <laughs> I would live stream playing that. Yeah, that would be really funny. I would enjoy that. I think that would be really amusing. I wonder how he would feel about that, too. He'd probably love that. <laughs> Matthew moment. If you could live in a different state than New Jersey, what state would you live in? Um, California. I love LA. I don't know where I would go. At one point I was planning to move to LA, but then I started dating her and she kept me here. What? No. Yeah. That's I fair. don't know where, I don't know where I would go. Cuz I don't know. This is a good place because it's like it doesn't have tornadoes and earthquakes all the time, which is like, you know, kind of cool. Um kind of based. And um and like Actually, I mean, we have tornadoes sometimes, but they're not, like, massive ones. We don't have earthquakes, so, like, it's kind of chill. Not gonna lie. So, We can, we can go to Delaware and yeah, probably just like, have no sales tax. Yeah, probably, yeah, Delaware. Like, Obviously, the top they... of Delaware, so I have, like, no sales tax. Yeah. That'd I'm gonna cool. live in the Christiana Mall. <laughs> Yo! Delaware moment. Anybody going to the Christiana Mall on August 1st, I'll be there. Would that be doxing yourself if you say that? It's not doxing. I'm not giving my location. I'm giving the location of one Lego store that's kind of near South Jersey, which, like, that that information's been public. Yeah. Um, Christiana Mall moment. It's a public mall. Like, yeah. there's lots of places that are near Christiana. Yeah, a lot of places. Um... We are gamer moment. Okay, now I'm adding that on, and I put it here. Plus, it'd be cool to meet people. I'd be down. Yeah. I'm, I'm down to get recognized in public. Yeah. If you see me, come up and say hi. 
your bricks my mine, right? And then get and hand me all of your Lego. If you see me, you do have to hand me all your Lego. That yeah, is yeah, that's legal, kind of the legal requirement. Legal requirement. To him. I saw a Potter minifig pals open a PO box and like. That's kind of a cool idea that I yeah. would like to do, but PO box costs cute. money. I don't know. If, I don't know if anybody would actually send anything to it. And I feel bad being like, send me stuff. Like, but I, I know you could just offer it. Like, I'm sure people would like to like send I, fan mail or something. I know there's been like, I, there's some Pokemon YouTubers that I watch that are, that I watch that are like that have PO boxes, and a lot of people that send them stuff are like, hey, I really love Pokemon or collect Pokemon cards as a kid, but I don't have the room for it anymore. So instead, of just tossing it or selling it i decided to send it to you that's cool yeah so i don't know maybe maybe if the p.o box at 50k uh pop Pink pals doesn't have that like she's only got like ten thousand more subscribers than me though so she's not that much bigger and she's got one so i don't know we'll have to look up how expensive it is because that would be kind of cool yeah it would I would that would be neat Booking a flight to delaware right now is gonna be bricks my mind in real life <laughs> yo bricks my mind moment Oh my god, wait, it's like kind of the end of July. Yeah, oh, well, it's it's like mid-July. We still got a week and a half. Fear. Time going too fast. Don't That's like right, that. Lego Luigi's gonna be in my hand very soon. <laughs> Emma and I are gonna do a live stream where we just play Lego Mario and Luigi together. Yeah, I think that would be a great idea. They can play together. They, they connect with Bluetooth and yes. then you can collect coins together. Yes, Lego Mario and Luigi. We're gonna do a live stream, guys. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, let's boppity bop this man. <laughs> Someone says, I hate Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> guys, how can you hate something that isn't even real? Wow. Wyoming isn't real. We've covered this. I think that we should move to Wyoming just to say that we live in the state that doesn't exist. You literally can't move there, Emma. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh, let's move to Narnia. Like, that's not how that works. Let's move to East Virginia. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's how you sound. What? That's how I sound? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, Destruct order Pigsy's noodle tank. Um, <laughs> you just avoided my question. What'd you say? I, I don't even know what did I just say. I don't know either. It like went in my ear and out my brain. Yeah, clearly. Um, <laughs> what? What? It's Destruct Order Pigs' Noodle Tank. I've never had the Destruct Order, but Pigs' Noodle Tank, it's got a much more interesting uh, overall aesthetic. aesthetic. Noodle Bowl is way more interesting than just, like, Ninjoid vehicles. Like, the Ninjoid aesthetic's boring anyway, so. Funny moment. See, I'm not a Monkey Kid hater. I like a lot of the Monkey Kid stuff. It's just it's too expensive, and the minifigures suck. Not the, not the, not the minifigures themselves, but the distribution of them. Oh, gotcha. Yo, wing moment. I'm just going to peek at the chat. Hello, chat. How are you? Because I know that I've been very concentrated, and you've been reading me everything that people say to me, but uh, I also like to say hi. Monkey kid. Which Hogwarts house are you? I am a Hufflepuff. I'm, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Ravenclaw? Gandalf? Yeah, sure. You're no, Gandalf. Um, I'm Ravenclaw. Yeah. I'm the blue one. Oh, I like it. What am I doing? I'm over here dating a Hufflepuff. Can you believe that? What? Why are you saying it like that? Because aren't they like the useless ones in the book? No, they're the ones that are fierce. They're fiercely like loyal and. Okay, that's what they nice. say on their website. But what Newt, actually? It's Newt. Newt Scamander is a. Okay, uh, well that was after the original initial run of movies and books. What? What what did any Hufflepuff do besides die in the main Harry Potter series? That's so Cedric mean. Diggory died. Yeah. He's a Hufflepuff. That's yeah. the only Hufflepuff I so remember. So did like a bunch of other people. Okay, but name a significant Hufflepuff that did anything significant. You're dating a Hufflepuff, Dingus. Name a you're not a Harry Potter character. I also am not that I'm I was really into Harry Potter when Chat, I was younger. But... Name something a Hufflepuff did that was significant in the books besides oh God, Cedric Diggory dying. I'm on to uh, number four. Number four moment. Guys, look, I have one bird wing done. One bird wing. You still have a tail and a head to do. Yeah. Hey, look, if you spin them, the birds will flap its wings. <gasps> Wait, that's actually so cool. I know, right? Oh, piece fell off. I just broke a piece. 
<laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. What piece is it? It was only on the one side, so. Ah, there it is. Oh, thank you. Pack number four. So you got head and tail to build. Yeah. Um, what does this say? The Hufflepuffs are bakers. Mmm. Good point. Garfield. Garfield's a Hufflepuff. I I might I might end up being Ravenclaw, but like, you know, I took I took the quiz when I was like ten or something, so who knows if the results have changed, but because I have some Huffle Hufflepuff merch, uh, I feel like it's too late to go back. Um <laughs> So so far the only points we have are they are bakers and the only thing a Hufflepuff do done has died. Wow. They're, I mean, they're more, they're more, uh, pretty much because, like, they're, they make friends with people. They're the friendly, with, you know that I can make friends with anyone. Like, obviously, I will stand my ground if, um, if they end up being, like, awful people, but I could, I can make friends with anyone. I know, I know you can. So, I my think My point isn't that's that they're good... bad people, my point is... Uh, J.K. Rowling did not really know how to write Hogwarts houses to be complex, no. and so, uh, uh, so Ravenclaw was just smart. Gryffindor is just those are the good guys. Slytherin's just those are the bad guys. Yeah. And Hufflepuff is like they're not very good at it, but they're friendly. Yeah. That's that was that's the houses. Honestly, and anyone trying to read farther into it is it, that's fan canon because that's not canon to the books. <laughs> Yeah, well, J.K. Rowling likes to make many canons <laughs> in the books. <laughs> but, the, like, people would get mad at her for stuff she added after. Like, no, that, that's in the book. Like, honestly, yes. the, all the stuff about those houses being better is outside. It's kind of funny, um, because it's like, you know, I would, honestly, I would rather be sorted into the Hufflepuff house than any of the others. Because, like, the other ones have, like, expectations or, like, oh, you're known as, like, the greatest or the worst like you know bad guys type house when it's just like dude i just like you know if i was at hogwarts i would just be like dude i just want to go to school and learn and learn my stuff and you know do my things like i don't need to be known as like the smartest or like whatever like i'm just here to vibe right but if i remember correctly in the movies the hufflepuffs are the one that were bad at the wizard stuff which is like the entire thing you're going to hogwarts for is wizard stuff um I don't know. I don't know if they were the bad at the, the wizard stuff, because the only one I can think of at bad at wizard stuff was, um, what's it, uh, Seamus and Neville, and they were both in Gryffindor. Right, and I remember people always telling Neville, oh, you sh you don't deserve being Gryffindor, you should have been a Hufflepuff, because he was so bad at the wizard stuff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a while since I read the books, so. Also, wait, didn't you not read the books? No, I've read the books. What are you talking oh, about? I've read them twice. Oh, yeah, because uh, well, when you were reviewing one of the Harry, uh, Harry Potter Lego sets, um, you didn't even know who a couple of the characters were. And they oh, were the, mini, the mini figure. Yeah, I didn't know who. Well, it's been a long time. And they were highly important to some of the later books, and a lot of people got mad at you in the comment section because they, I'm they sorry, were. I didn't know I, who. I, what's his. Kingsley. Kingsley Shacklebolt. And, um... Griphook. I didn't remember who Griphook was. Yeah, Griphook. Those were the two I didn't remember who they were. And did you not remember Creature as well? Did you not Creature remember? was not a minifigure. No, he, oh, he wasn't? No. I think you're thinking of Griphook, because he's also a little goblin man. Um, yeah. I, I enjoy I enjoyed it when I was a kid, and and I like obviously I liked going to Universal. Um, no, I, I, I like Harry Potter enough. I'm I'm memeing. Yeah, it's, I'm I'm just memeing a little bit. Yeah. Um. Um. I just think a a lot of Harry Potter is people take Harry Potter a little too seriously, and I think a lot of it's very silly. Like, I I beg of you guys go back and watch um the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone. And just go back and watch that movie, and then go, wa watch, like, that one and the seventh one back-to-back, -back and be like, what? <laughs> what do you mean, like... Because they're wildly well, different tones, and... They do get a lot darker. Yeah. Which I guess Ninjago does the same thing. Yeah, but... actually, I mean... I'd never argue Ninjago isn't silly, but... <laughs> Ooh, I guess I'm gonna make the feet soon, because there's, like, some talon pieces. I'm finished. Okay. Congrats! <laughs> Look, it's Igor. Yo, funny man. He's not as bad as people made him out to be in person, honestly. He's funny, but, like, he's okay. He's funny. Um, 
Thoughts of people calling the Bone Demon and Noodle Tank a ripoff of the Iron Doom and Destructoid. Uh, people don't know what the word ripoff means. Like, oh, thing is vaguely the same shape as the other thing. I think it's funny that they look kind of similar, but I would never call them a ripoff because they are wildly different sets. I think the only set I might call a ripoff is the Red Sun Inferno Jet because that's such a specific thing. But even that, you can't really rip off yourself. It's Lego ripping off Lego. It's just like... <laughs> I wouldn't call that a ripoff, and it's like, oh, it's bad because it's the same thing. Like, if it was done better than the Boulder Blaster, I'd be like, okay, it's done better than Boulder Blaster, but if you're going to do the same exact thing you did earlier in the year and do it worse and more for more money, then, yeah. I'm just looking. <laughs> Hi. Watching the Jago Violets, so watching the Jago movie, you will not care. True. <laughs> It's Igor, not Igor. Okay, Igor. Bird time! Bird moment. Alright, build your bird, bird, girlfriend. Building bird! Philosopher's ah. stunt for those British people. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> You're getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, you built the tips of this wing. Yeah, I did. Cool. Um... I'm starting to get antsy. I've been sitting a while. <laughs> Need to like the Inferno Jet stand. is cheaper, but I'm talking I'm talking about value, and also it's five dollars cheaper. And if you consider the fact that you get the Bolt Blaster for thirty two everywhere, then it is more Yo, expensive. Yo, the Battle Bus. But even for retail, like yeah, Inferno Jet's five dollars cheaper, but one's five dollars. Like, if one was twenty and the other was forty, that'd be something. But thirty five versus forty, it's like why would you not pay five dollars more and get the significantly bigger, significantly better set? Igor is an e-girl. I don't like that. Oh no. Review Woo's t-shirts. If if Matthew and I's new series does well and we get through all the seasons, Woo's t will be one of the things we do an episode on. Funny moments. I'm literally just vibing. You know. Guys, it's more expensive if uh, Boulder Blaster goes on sale for 20% off literally everywhere and the Red Sun's Inferno Jet doesn't because it's a retail exclu it's a Lego store exclusive and that means it doesn't ever go on sale. Crunch. And it's a worse value, so I, I, I would use the word expensive to mean it has a worse value, but no, I what I was referring to there is value, but even if you want to go monetary, like twenty percent off is like the pretty much the retail price for Boulder Blaster nowadays. I'm putting him on. Bird He's starting to look like a bird. <laughs> it looks good. How does the chat feel about me building? Are they are they Chat, excited? how's Emma doing with her building? Are they excited to have me here? Are they just like Yo, what? Build time. Inferno Inferno Jet's thirty five, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on, I think I'll look this up because I'm pretty sure it's thirty five. Google moment. Reds Suns Inferno Jet. No, it's thirty five. It's thirty four ninety nine. The base price is still cheaper. Yes, I acknowledge that the base price for the sets is still cheaper. <laughs> I'm sorry, I misspoke and said it's more expensive. But mm -hmm. on sale, which is the price that you can get the Boulder Blasted for at Target, Walmart, Amazon, ever anywhere you look, it will be twenty percent off then that's cheaper, or if you go price per part, or minifigure per part, or you just look at the size of the sets, Boulder Blaster is the better value by far. Emma is very poggers, Bird is pog, she's building Epic Bird. Yay, thank you! Oh, it's $30 in value? Okay, well, it's, it still costs 35 so I'd still argue for the ball. I'm not, I'm not having the Red Suns Inferno Jack conversation anymore. We are done with the Red, Red Suns Inferno Jack conversation. <laughs> yeah. Watching Emma Bill makes me want the set now. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty cool. I'm actually kind of impressed by it. Because the, the owl one looked kind of like garbage. And oh. Matthew reviewed it and it's the least viewed video on my channel. Oh, that's really funny. Um, yeah, I like I like the bird. He's very funny. I'm getting there. I'm you're getting, getting there. there. You're doing well. Yeah. Honestly, considering I haven't built like a big set in a while, this is really fun. Yo, let's um, get Lego Mario on the mic. Lego Mario time! Oh no. Oh, let's go in the water. Why? Ah. 
Blue Daughter's Hydro Jet. <laughs> But monkey kid tax? Okay, but the thing is, that's not an argument. Like, Star Wars tax is a thing because it's licensed and they have to pay Disney. What's monkey kid tax? Who are they paying? Monkey. Don't don't answer that question. I know what the answer is, but monkey. don't answer that. Um, and I need to make another. I'm almost done. Yay. <laughs> We're doing it. Garfield. We're not. <laughs> what is Garfield saying? He said, hey, mine, what's your opinion on Red Sun's Inferno Jack? <laughs> That's great. You should make Lego Mario ASMR. That is a great video idea. I think that you should do that. Lego Mario ASMR. I think we should do Bricks by Mind complaints about Red Sun's Inferno Jet ASMR. Yeah. That would be long. Hey everyone, it's me, uh, Bricks by Mind. I think uh, Red Sun's Inferno Jet has a really bad value. It only comes with three minifigures, and all of them are re releases from sets and it's $35 and the build is very similar to Ghost Boulder Blaster from Ninjago. The Ghost Boulder Blaster is only $5 more and contains like 1.5 times as many pieces and is significantly larger in person. And like I know Monkey Kid fans are like a fan of the vehicle in the show but like if you're just looking for the vehicle itself the Boulder Blaster is significantly better. So like I don't get why you would ever buy the Inferno Jet. I guess it's in like a way to get uh, Red Sun for cheap ish but like this probably better and more unique sets so could get him in for a little bit more money i think like you just need to put characters in cheaper sets as a whole because like it's not fair that like the main villain of season one is like 35 dollars plus you could get garmin on for 10 dollars back in the day what's the deal with that did you guys, did you guys enjoy that that was <laughs> wow <laughs> uh. what Now it's getting complicated. Guys, I gotta refill. I gotta refill my Lego mug. <laughs> this glass of actual water. Please already. don't spill over yourself. I probably won't. Oh wow, you didn't. Impressive. This is really fun. Yeah, you having yeah. fun? Yeah. I'm glad. Good. It's Lego moment. Does this make you want to buy more Lego sets? Um. I would. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, there's a bug just landed on me. It scared me. Jump scare moment. Oh, the ASMR is catching up to catching up to oh, the chat right great. now. great. How many viewers do we have, by the way? I haven't checked that in a, like, Heart moment. couple hours. Yeah. 51, not bad. 51 yeah. people just heard me do Red Sun ASMR. Oh, so good. I like ASMR now. <laughs> uh, do I like the episode Child's Play? It's very goofy, but it's fun. I don't mind it. Kind of doesn't make sense of the canon anymore, but that's okay. Bird! I'm just shouting crap now. The tail's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm working on it, so I guess it'll be a cool tail now. New channel, Perks My Mind ASMR. Yo, Should I make that? I think that would do really well. <laughs> We're doing pull, guys. Squeaky chair moment, be like. Should I make a... Oh! Why does it keep sending polls when I'm not ready? <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> then we do this. Why are you jerking out a Lego Man head? Legos can't do that. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Should... I make a Bricks by my ASMR channel? Yes. No. Just post it to my IRL channel. Cool collaborations. Cool collaborations is gonna get it all. That is the funny. I will never get over that. That's so funny. It's really funny. <laughs> yes, it's winning right now. Good. Oh, cool collaborations is pulling up. Yo. <laughs> uh, 
you got tail feathers? Yeah. That's kind of elaborate. That's pretty funky. Yeah, I like that. Crunch. Bird moment. Now I have to do... Um, now I have to do another. And then after this, you're just going to build his head. He has no yeah. head right now. He doesn't have a head. It's Yo, kind headless of bird moment. Headless bird! God. Why is he headless? This is kind of taking a while. Not going to lie. <laughs> it's a pretty big set. It's a pretty yeah, hefty what set. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 7.30. We started five, eh, two and a half hours. That's about what I expected. I, expect, I, I allotted about three hours for this. I was expecting. I know you were like, I oh, will be done in an hour. I was like, mm. thought we would. Oh, uh, you have the wrong part here. Do I? Oh. Yeah, you have the inverse. Oops. Yep. Didn't even see that. Thank you. Um, do you think LegoCon next year will be better? Or do you think it'll be the same? That's a very good question. Um, I know I have left my feedback both in a video and I let the Lego Ambassador Network know how I and many of my fans felt about that event. Um, I'm hoping they do it better, but <laughs> Lego and their social media presence are not always the best. Um, so I don't, I, I will still watch it. I will live stream it again, but I do not have high expectations. <laughs> Nope. That was really funny to watch. I kind of felt like I will never get that time back of watching Lego Con. I'm really glad Matthew was with me because he was supposed to be at work that day, I think, but he took off sick because uh, he was he was actually sick that day. If you guys remember from the stream, um, because if he wasn't there and I just had to sit and watch that entire thing myself, oh my goodness. I honestly would have joined you just to like. <laughs> help you like i would have felt so bad that i would have just joined your live stream just so that way you're not dying alone over there <sighs> the worst part is is how like literally a couple days later on june 1st a bunch of new sets are posted to, like oh, no on july 1st a bunch of new sets are posted to lego's website and it's like why didn't you just reveal these at your event a couple days ago like yeah makes no sense what are your thoughts of people defending cities saying city tax? Disgusting. It's, well, not the people, but the idea that there's a city tax is disgusting. Like, God, city, I just, see, I, Brick Bob, you know I call Monkey Kid's prices bad, but I at least look at Monkey Kid. I go, hey, I want this set, but no. mm, that price might be a little too high for me. City is one where I don't even look at it because I'm like, that is too out of the question. Monkey Kid is bad, but it's like... It's bad in the sense that, like, I could maybe consider it if I really wanted the set, and obviously now Land sends it to me, but, um, City is just something that, like, I literally have not looked at that theme in five years. Like, doing the podcast with Matthew is the first time I've act actively looked at City sets just because the prices are consistently so bad that it's, like, not even worth considering purchasing ever. Do you have any Ninjago keychains? Yes, I have all of the Zane ones. I have 2011 Zane, Titanium Zane, and Movie Zane. And whenever they come yep. out with a new one, I will get that. Also, I have... Your keys are very heavy. Yes. I have 2011 Woo and Movie Woo, but those guys just live in my glove compartment. <laughs> they used to be on my keychain as well, but their hats were too big, and they got, like, they were, it was really obnoxious to take my keys out of my pocket, so just the Zanes and one bad copper on there. Yep. LegoCon turned mine into the Joker. I've been the Joker, baby. Joker, baby. It's Joker time. How's Bird going? Bird's going good. I have to say, you've done really well. I was kind of kind of expecting you to like have a little more trouble, and I'd have to come in and help a lot. But, nope. it's, but a few minor things, you'd be like, hey, how do you do this? And I've been happy to help. But Yeah, the Technic stuff confused me a little bit, but I, I've been fine. I mean, like, Lego's fun to build, and obviously I, I did build some lego um back in my day and uh, i hate that i just said that um <laughs> but like i it's not bad it just it just takes a while and this is the longest i've spent on lego in a very very long time um but i enjoy it it's fun <laughs> uh city is a worse theme than friends y'all why do you hate on friends like friends is a fine theme it's just made for girls and but it's a good theme. It's well done. Just like Dots. Dots is an amazing... Dots is one of Lego's best themes, but so many people write it off. It's like, oh, it's the girl theme. Who cares if it's for girls? Number yeah, one... It's Lego. That's the target audience. It doesn't mean you can't buy it. Number two, it's really well done. You could acknowledge something and be like, this is really good, but it's not for me. Yeah. 
And friends, I I don't pay close attention to friends either, but it's it's fine when I've seen the colors are. I don't love the colors that they use. It's a little like I like bright colors, but it's a little too much for me. Um, but the builds are good. Um, the mini they don't include enough minifigures in sets, and I'm not a fan of the friends mini dolls. But as a theme, it's fine. It's well done. Better than the city, I agree. I caught it. If they give you the chance to play the Joker in a new movie, would you take the chance? Yes, DC Comics. If you're listening, Warner Brothers. Hit me up. <laughs> I will do one take for every scene, and I will be very bad at it, but... Yeah. Brick Bob, I've had conversations with you about the value of Monkey Kid. I, I don't think I can know? change your mind. Um, how come everyone lost their minds over the Ninjago redesigns, but not the Friends redesigns in the same year? Well, because the Friends redesigns were objectively better, and also I don't think you and I are looking at the Friends community, Henry. Um... But the my my sister noticed oh. the I was at Walmart with my sister the other day and she grew up with the earlier waves of Lego Friends and she she saw all the redesigns and she's like oh that's really cool that they made them more diverse and everything like she was really happy that's to cool. see they got redesigned so because the I think the original wave it was like four of the five girls were all white but now they've oh. changed it so that it's like a diverse cast where that's good because I feel like honestly even in um even in lego i feel like there's not enough diversity yeah like, well i mean because i know they're like i mean i know half the times they're yellow. yellow which i mean that's just lego um but like it would be cool if they had um a more diverse uh like group yeah well it's it's hard because the, the piece I'm the really the only skin tone sets are based on movies and they're gonna make the main characters of the movies and unfortunately hollywood is majority white yeah so um but we've got it's gotten better in recent years we've got a lot more diverse characters but friends is like the only theme lego does where they have realistic skin tones so the original friends cast was four white girls and one like uh light light skinned black girl but they changed it so now the there's now a light skinned black girl, a dark skinned black girl, an Asian girl, a redhead, and just the white blonde stayed the same. That's really cool. I'm yeah. glad that they do have that diversity because any bit of representation makes an impact, yeah. especially for um, children's toys. I feel. yeah, and I, I I know I've seen before that a lot of black people feel that the like for some reason only light skinned. Uh, people are really represented in media, so it's cool mm -hmm. to see that they like the, their existing black character. They um, they they darkened her skin to make her like a little more representative of a wider culture, and yeah. then one of the other characters they they made uh, darker skin. So yeah, I like that. I think that's great. You think they'll do an anniversary mini dollars or a D two cent C for Friends next year? Oh my God, is it Friends? Is it Friends tenth anniversary next year? Friends, Holy crap! Friends the Lego set or Friends the, Friends uh... the the thing we were just talking about. Okay, yeah. Shang Chi was a huge missed opportunity, one hundred percent. Those mini figures are so disappointing. You had the idea, uh, opportunity to introduce a bunch of new faces to represent the Asian community, and you just used reused a bunch of white people faces. That was yeah, that's bad. so disappointing. Like diversity is like a th like when I get Leo doesn't always have the chance to create diversity in sets because these movies are surrounded f like full of white people, but. That movie was the perfect chance to give us some cool parts, and you didn't do it, Lego. That's disappointing. Um, but wow, yeah, next I'm really curious what the anniversary figures are going to be next year because it's going to be ten years of superheroes, Minecraft, and I guess Friends as well. Yeah, I guess Friends did come out in 2012. Wow. God, I want to see golden mini dolls. That'd be so funny. That would be really funny. Oh my god, look at the bird's little face. <laughs> he looks so stupid. He does look really stupid. I love him so much. He look dumb. Genuinely love how random Jurassic World characters got new faces, but not Shang-Chi. I love how random Stormtroopers got new faces, but not Shang-Chi. <laughs> Stormtroopers under their helmets got new yeah, face prints. That's great. Love that. Thank but Henry, you. Jurassic World Camp Jurassic, or whatever it's called. What? I don't know. Camp Cretaceous, that's what it's called. It's a Netflix show. All oh. the characters in that show got new face prints. And to be fair, those characters are pretty diverse. It makes me happy to see they got new, new face prints. But they all got new face prints and Shang-Chi didn't. Yay. Do you like Lego Seinfeld of Friends? The Friends set is amazing. I have it on a shelf back here somewhere. Not immediately grabbable. Friends set's great. Uh, Seinfeld set, pretty good too. I'll probably get that at some point. Don't have it yet. 
<laughs> bird. <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. To. Uh. Minecraft is in 2012. Yes. What was the the idea is Minecraft that was in 2012, and then 2013 had the the non idea sets that were in the same style as the idea set, and then the minifigure scale set started in 2014. So technically, it's only eight years of the minifigure sets, but it'll be ten years of the Minecraft theme. So that's really cool. Yep. Lego needs more original themes. Yeah, but original themes are dead. I mean, did you guys hear the video news? Like <laughs> that was their latest original theme. Um. Bird moment. Uh, what do you think Lego which is a Brickhead's one fifty? It's Star Wars, right? Probably like, do we have? A, we do have a Mandalorian. Do yeah. we have an Ashtanka? Ashtanka. Or do we maybe Bad Batch? Like, it's gonna just be some fan favorite character. It's not gonna be Jar Jar. <laughs> no, I don't know if I would want Jar Jar. Okay. We're almost done. We're, we're getting low on parts. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to say my Monkey Kid thing real quick, and then we're yeah. going to move on from the conversation, okay? Okay. With Monkey Kid, the small sets are overpriced. They cost too much money. And then the big sets are just expensive. So there's no good way to buy it, because you either have to spend a lot of money to get a fair price, or spend still a pretty good amount of money to get a bad price. So, um, Food Truck, I think, is the only like set that has it all from the first wave. Um, which I have that set on the floor over here. Disgusting. But that is my piece. I will say that. Oops. He was. And third wave is good. Second, uh, the so the third wave is better prices. The fourth wave is very good, but first and second have a lot of that issue. Okay. Ideal tenth anniversary superhero sets would be the classic first appearance suits for the characters, as minifigures. That would be very cool, but I feel like after my interview with the Harry Potter designers, they're probably going to be gold. If we get anything, it'll probably be gold Batman, Superman, Iron Man, Spider Man, or something like. I'm concentrating really hard. I've gone really <laughs> quiet. Yeah, you're close. Yeah, I'm close. I'm just I'm excited to get him done. He's so close. Is Chad even still watching me build, or are they are they? They're having a debate in about me? Monkey Kid, but I think yeah. they're still watching. Um, did you forget this part of the wing, or did I not have you do that yet? Because you did it on this side. You didn't do it on this side. Uh, it looks like they didn't have me do that yet. Sure you didn't miss it? <laughs> I hope I didn't. We might have to go back and fix that. Well, let's see. Because, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't have any other parts. I don't see. We'll have to see. Oh, he is a bird! Yes. Yes. Bird moment. Oh my god, we're so close. I'm gonna ban the word monkey kid from the chat. Yeah, but I think that would be really funny. Did I insult the pig truck in one of my meme reviews? I do think I could use one more minifigure. Like, Pigsy and monkey kid being the only two figures for $80. Only two named characters for $80 is a little bit lame. But, um, I do think the bill's good. The value's one of the better ones. I also think... $80 for a pig truck is too much. Just It's just an expensive set in general, but that's not speaking to its value. It's a fine set for $80. It's just I'd rather buy many other things for 80 but yeah. Also, my opinion can change. I'm a human being. I'm not going to stick an opinion I don't believe anymore. If you guys watch the podcast, I used to hate Lego Mario. Now I'm based to Mario Pilled, so I'm not one of those people that's going to fight an opinion I no longer believe in, but... Um... How's it going? Good. I'm almost there. I'm really hoping I'm almost there. I'm yeah, the, the wings you missed. Oh, ah, no. It's only a few parts. Yeah, but I don't know where. Hold on. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I was doing good. Food truck is 70. Okay, 70. That $70 is still a lot of money. There we go. Here, here's the... I'm going to mark my page. I'm going to put this... <laughs> uh this i i must have just skipped a page then because uh, guys i don't get the argument that ninjaga has been around for a while so that's how why it has good prices we literally just talked about how city has the worst prices and that's been around even longer 
And then compare it to like Minecraft or Minecraft you has decent prices. Sometimes prices aren't great, but as a whole they do speed champions is great prices. Ideas usually is great prices. Um Dots obviously does, but that's I don't think that's comparable because it's all tiny pieces. Oh, it's that way. Sorry. Okay. No. I caught it. We're almost there. Do 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 Building the bird. Bird moment. Um, I have a question. Yes. Would you rather squee or XD? XD? I feel like Squee is scary. Where does this go? I don't um, know where I insert this. Right here, one of these? Oh, there's no holes right there. Um, You might have put one too many blue tactic pins in. Did I? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Hold up, wait. Can I get this? Got it. Oh, good. I think that's actually supposed to go here. Yeah. And I think. Wait, hold on. No, no, that one was fine. It's this one that needs to move. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. We're working together. We are. We're building a bird. We're building a bird. Babe, we're building a bird. We're building a bird. Shove this in here. Yes. Okay, now we have to put this back. Okay, there we go. Now we're caught up. Back to there. We're so close. Oh wait, I'm done. You just have to attach oh, the head. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would be, that would be good. All right. Hold up. Just shove. All right, guys. Emma's All right, big almost finished. Big reveal. Big reveal. Big reveal. Big reveal. We're gonna put the head on. We're gonna put it on. <gasps> wait, you kind of look really cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let me move it closer. <laughs> there he is. There he is. This is him. You want me to go by the, behind the camera and zoom in? No. Nah. I'm going to do it. No, what's the question? It's just me telling you what I'm about to do. <laughs> Bird time. Look, there he is. Flap his wings. That's really cool, I honestly. Know, right? It's really neat. There he is from the hero, flop it from the front too. Hero, let me move him in frame. Ta-da! There he is! That actually is so cool. Right? There's the sides. That's, a, that's actually a really good sound. Yeah, it really that. is. Right. <laughs> There's my face. Ta-da! Ah, we did it! We did it! We did it. We did it. I also built two sets at the same time, but that's okay. Uh, listen, it, uh, this had Technic in it, so honestly, that that was complicated. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very proud of myself, though. Um, I did it, and that was the first big Lego set I've built in since, like, probably 2012 or something. That, um, this big Lego set's $40. Yeah. The other thing I was sitting over there, that's 170 Yeah. Big. <laughs> that's yeah. very big. What is chat saying? That makes me want to buy this set. I'm going to buy that now. Yes. Oh my god, Harry Pop-Tart Legos. <laughs> That's so cool, actually. Nice set. Well, guess what? What? Emma's also going to be reviewing this for the Bricks by Mind channel. Yes, I will. So stay tuned. When you see a video titled, like, Harry Potter Phoenix Review... That's it's not gonna be me in that video. That's gonna be her. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure when that's gonna be. That's yeah. I'm not you're sure. You're probably not filming that today. So probably it's it's a little bit. Late. It's a little bit late. But it's at some little... point she'll come over. We I'll... probably should have uh, done this an hour earlier, and then uh, I might have had time to review. But that's. Oh well. Wow, yeah. Kai's fire dragon. Yeah, that's Kai's fire dragon, guys. Yeah, Kai's fire this dragon. This is Red Sun's Inferno jet right here. I take back everything I said about Red, Red Sun's Inferno jet. It's actually pretty good. Compared to Kai's Fire Dragon right now. You can make a comparison video of every Fox Phoenix and you can compare that to the little mini one. Yeah, I think that would be great. Oh, yeah, because Dumbledore's over there. Yeah. Just vibing. <laughs> really cool. Really cool set. I very much enjoyed building it and um, I had a lot of fun. Um, it was really nice to live stream and, uh, and to build this guy. Yeah. He's really cool. I'm actually kind yeah. of impressed by him. Yeah, he is. I'm so glad that, uh, that I got to build him. It was really fun. And he. 
Honestly, the yeah, it's really cool that the wing mechanics are just up and down. It kind of has some like movement. Oh. I hear a dog in the uh -oh. basement. Nebby's here. Hi, Nebby. What are you doing? Nebby, I'm, oh. I'm live right now. You can't be here. <laughs> Nebby. You have to go up. Uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like breaking things. I think I muted it. Okay, like, Am I muted? Does like audio input capture? Um. Nabby. Let's see. I think I muted myself. Dad. Okay. I'm trying to live stream and the dog's trying to run and knock everything over. Nabby. Did you mute us or did they hear everything? Nope, they heard everything. That's the mute button. Oh, press? that is. I pressed the mute on that one, I nope. think. I just. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, they heard the entire Whoops. thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I'm back. Someone oh, yeah. said, oh, someone said, yes, you are muted. Not muted. Not muted. muted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You well, I, I didn't say anything oh, well. damning. You just heard me talk to my dad for a moment. Yeah. Oh well, I should have uh, like covered the mic. That wouldn't have done anything. We can still hear, yeah. Oh well. You'd like that chat delay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that uh that YouTube has a bigger chat delay than uh than Twitch. <laughs> Dad, I'm trying to look. Uh -oh. oh my uh -oh. god. Uh oh. Mm. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> We're uh, back. Yeah, I, I I pressed the mute button that time. Yeah. There's a lot of buttons up on there, so I I thought I did. What it. the dog doing? True. Yo, what the dog doing? <laughs> we have a little uh lab Labrador uh charcoal lab puppy. Yeah. And she's a little chaotic. Her name is Neb Nebula. Um. And Nebby for short. Um, yeah. Lego Mario. I would pick her up and reveal her, but she's a little too squirmy, a little too big, and yeah. she would knock over a little bit of Lego, so. Stand back here. Put back here. Lego Mario on the bird. <laughs> Your dad seems nice. Yeah, my dad's cool. I like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna be on stream. Like, oh, I don't like my dad. No. <laughs> I mean, my entire family let me just take over the basement here so we can set up our live stream. So, phew. I would show her if it wasn't so chaotic to have her down here. But how do I? Oh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> she becomes the bully. Anyway, should we? Should we end the stream? Um, I think so. Yeah, Mario is creepy. <laughs> I like Lego Mario. Yeah. Lego Mario funny. He's creepy when he's turned off, though. He's just- I'm gonna let him, uh... I'm gonna let him- he's gonna stand next to Dumbledore. I thought you had a cat. I do have two cats as well. Yeah. This may shock you, you but you can have cats and dog. Cat and <laughs> dog. Alright, well, good way. job, Emma. You built the Legos. Yay! Built Lego moment. There he is. He's actually really cool. I Stay tuned for really Emma review like coming at some point. Probably at some in a point. week or two. Hopefully. Bird moment. Yeah, so you guys get to see. Oh, wait. He can move his head. I yeah. didn't realize that. Hold on. It's on a ball joint. Dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I like him. He's, he's very bird. I love him. <laughs> X. 
Excellent. Yes, everybody go watch my recent video too after you're done watching this because I worked really hard on it. It's really cool. Yeah. Learn some Lego Harry Potter stuff. Sean's really epic. That's this one. See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye.